Hello and welcome to another Wargamer Online Battle Report. Today we have Iden of Deakin versus Daughters of Cain. Even though I know it, I have to check the screen. Wargamer Online. The hope of Wargamer. Well, thank you for joining us again. This is a bonus battle round. Yeah, we managed to squeeze another one. Because we. Isn't it? Yeah, ha, we officially tricked you all. <laughs> we officially closed down the lockdown series, and we realised actually, due to some cancelled plans, we could squeeze one last game in. So this isn't the lockdown series. This no. is an independent yeah. Brucey bonus. Uh, yeah, bat rep. rep. Brucey bonus <laughs> bat rep. Um, and as such, we thought we'd try something a little bit different. Yeah. Jack has brought filth to the table. Well, it's a list I've used before, but it was the tournament list, yeah. And I'm, I'm fed up of the Ideneth. I've lost them twice. I hate them. I despise them. They're, they're so <laughs> annoying. They are the worst. They need to die. They need to learn. Their place is below the daughters. The, the daughters true, the pinnacle elves to ever exist. Yeah, yeah. To get those pointy elves. Yeah, what well, well, are them? Who cares about them? Two pointy um, daughters. I'd are say them. I'm looking forward to this yeah. one. Not. Yeah. Just, the, 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 the daughter's blender is just utterly yeah. terrifying. And I should mention, this isn't. It's a tournament list I use, but it's not my tournament list no. that I want because, you know, I've said earlier, 30 Sisters of Slaughter would be in this army, but unfortunately, I've only got 20 at the minute and I've been busy painting Lumineth to try and get an army of them done. Looking good. So they are on the workshelf, but I haven't just got around to doing them yet. Well, before we go any further, of course, when we talk about Lunaminef, we talk about an army that is only possible because of the fantastic support from everybody who's come yeah. along. Either liked and subscribed, which helps spread the word of the channel. Thank you very much for that. We really appreciate everybody who likes, shares, subscribes, tells all their friends about it. Yeah. Um, absolutely fantastic. It really helps us grow. But also a huge thank you to our premium subscribers over at wargameronline.com. Um, that all of this is helping us expand armies out as well, so it's just been fantastic. And let's not forget the wonderful comments we get, which uh, Jack's selected a few at the bottom of the screen yes. now when you do the edit. And it's always heartwarming to see some of the comments. And we've seen some fantastic stuff. There was a comment recently which just kind of uh, talks about, you know, they're getting into the hobby and our bat reps have really helped with them when it comes to learning the game and stuff. And I know we don't get everything right. And um, chances are we'll get a few things wrong today. But what I really love about this community is just how positive people are, even when they're correcting us or suggesting changes or saying, hey, you missed that. There's a couple of there's certain rules that just catch me out sometimes. Yeah. And it is important. I think if you want to play competitively, nine tenths of it is remembering your rules better than your opponent. Yeah, yeah. You know, so every time on a charge phase, Sylvaner, if you're within a wild blood, make Six that seven. roll. Because you never know that one wound can tip a game, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Let's get into armies and missions and uh, we'll get into the game. Yeah. So for my Iden of Deakin, I've taken, for a change, I thought I'd take Futan. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> my leader is Voltoras, hiking Whoa, in the deep. He's my well. general. <laughs> Look, dude, these are all the models I've got. <laughs> um, I'm also accompanied by Eidolon of Vathland, Aspect of the Sea. He's got the clo Cloud of Midnight, along with the Steed of Tides. <laughs> Behave. I also have two Ishranch Soul Renders, accompanying a unit of 20 Nemirati Thralls. I've got two units of Akelian Ishlan Guard, along with a unit of six Morsaga. And finally, in what I strongly suspect to be sushi anytime soon, we have the Akelian Leviathan. For my 2000 point uh, Daughters of Cain army today, I thought I'd change it up a little bit and go with Hagnar. Really? Hagnar? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Hagnar. <laughs> you know? Something new. <laughs> um, I have Marathi the Hierarchal of Cain with um, the only spell that's worth it, Mind Razor. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of thought, you know, that. I've tried the other spell, so we'll go back to Mind Razor with that. Um, I have a Blood Rack Shrine, which is my general. Uh, with the Devoted Disciples command trait from Hagnar and the Steed of Shadows lore. 
And then I have two Hag Queens, one of which has the Blood Sigil, which is this one here. It's got a uh, one of the Goad Staves, so that's how she's different. And she's got Martyr Sacrifice and Catastrophism of Murder. And the other Hag Queen over here has Blessing of Cain. First battle line unit is a, you know, 30 Witch Elves. <laughs> um, you know, it's Witch Elves. They're going to go through and make Chop Suey of something. And then, on, on the flanks of the blender? Yeah, on the <laughs> flanks of the blender is the mini blenders. The uh, snakes are just going to slither on up and take objectives. I also have two units of five Canari heart renders in the sky, ready to just be annoying and do something. Oh, I and about those. also, <laughs> I've got the Geminids of Ulgish oh, as an end of spell. Is great. The battle plan for today is shifting objectives. Um, as you can see, the deployment zones have kind of got these weird little truncated things so you can't go as far out on the flanks. But you start 24 inches um, away from each other. Three objectives right down the centre. You roll the D3 at the start of each turn. Um, if you control the primary objective, you get two points. If you control the secondary objective, you get one point. But if you have battle line within six inches of it, you get an additional victory point. So nice. you've got quite a lot of battle line. I've got a decent amount. I've got the three units, so we'll see how that goes. Okay. The realm of battle is actually the realm of fire. So ugh, every terrain piece is volcanic. We'll try and get it right this time, uh, how you actually do it. I um, know, uh, it's across the entire table, isn't it? So. Yeah, uh, the, the realm skate magic is fireball, which casts around your five, it can do some mortal wounds. And the blazing fervor, blazing fervor <laughs> command ability, which um, gives further. Further, yeah, further, yeah. Okay, um, if, uh, I thought it said fever and it kind oh, of threw okay. me off. No, like I like blazing fever. <laughs> <laughs> um, you get a 12 inch bubble of plus one run and charge rolls for that unit, so <laughs> it's, not, it's not bad. Right, it's okay not bad, then. I guess. Okay, right, um, let's get into uh, deployment. deployment, yeah. Uh, just on the deployment side, fear the Marafi. Um, I could see you in early deployment setting up for Marafi Catapult. Yeah. Um, for those of you who don't know that, I'll let Jack explain that on his deployment. Whether he does choose Whether to do, do it or, or not, not today is another story. So I'm actually back from my line. He's got some fast moving troops in there, 12 inches on the blender with a yep. 12 inch charge, theoretically covering 24 inches. Um, so uh, whilst, you know, a, a run roll of 12 is not necessarily um, uh, unlikely to happen, it's highly likely to happen with Jack. Um, yeah. And also with Marafi's um, catapult move, that I'm, she could I'm actually, get in for yeah, this, probably uh, about nine, I'd guess nine, ten inch yeah, charge. We were nine inch charge away. I've made it hope, but you know. <coughs> so you will see me in a very condensed form. Um, screening uh, with unrendable Ishlands on the sides and a unit of 20 thralls yeah. backed up by soul renders for replenishing if the 20 thralls were to survive a Marafi onslaught. Um, so in theory a steady play for me and my yeah. worry is uh, you get to choose who goes first yes, you finish the playing the first off. we have the same number of you units. won the roll off I draw you made me pick territories um, and I had to start dropping no so, you chose uh, I dropped you first, dropped first yeah. actually so did you pick territories there? I yes yeah, which I way did around it is you picked yeah. territories didn't you so you started dropping first on the nine drop army each. yes <laughs> okay, uh, one thing to do just while I'm here, I am 10 points below you, so yeah, I'm going to get my no. um, triumph. triumph. This is two. I think that gives a unit reroll wounds. I think it's the NAF one, but we'll double check. <laughs> okay, Jack? Um, yeah, my deployment, pretty simple. As you can see, Marathi's surrounded, so she can do that when she transforms, she moves forward. Um, Hag's kind of around her with the... All units within seven inches of the mirror, so everybody's getting the five up to ignore, and the snakes out on the flank, and of course the canary up in the sky. It is indeed bloodthirsty. I do get to re-roll wounds, <laughs> which isn't bad, really. It's I'm all right. Pretty with good. That. I'm all right with it's that. Per game re-roll wounds, very yeah. good. Okay. All right, Jack. You get the choice of who goes to turn first. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna let you take the first turn because 
I don't want to take the first turn and going into like turn two to three getting doubled by you because that's just not good. So I am going to take the first turn. Uh, the, I'm going to let you take the first turn. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Are you sure about that? Yeah. We've okay. Got, we've got this. Here we go. <laughs> Hiding of turn one. <laughs> Before we go into my turn, though, we do need to determine where the primary objective two, three. is. One, two, three. Three. It's all the way over there. That one. That one. I wanted that one. Did you? Can you swap it? No. That's my three. No, but I'm player but A. But you know I'm what? I'm player A. <laughs> I hate to tell you, Jack, though, we've numbered them on screen. And oh, that we, three. okay, we'll do that one as three, then why not? <laughs> Here we go then into my hero phase. First up, let's see if I can get a ritual off. I'm gonna need a natural nine on this. Ah, I've rolled them on the table. <laughs> Just... Gonna need a natural nine on this. If I get it, you'll be a troll owner. <laughs> I was gonna say, what are you doing? Um, and... So you don't get it. Yeah, ritual. I'll tell you what, let's just film that again. <laughs> just a natural nine. Yeah. No, okay, no. we'll stick with it. Yeah. yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I could deal with that as my casting spell. <laughs> right, next up, I'm going to try Mystic Shield before okay. I go anywhere. So here we go. This is coming out so on an eight. That yep. goes off. Can um, you I'm deny with Marathi? I thought range. she could pop it anywhere. No. Um, Mystic Shield onto himself. Voltornos. Anybody? Leviathan. The Leviathan. Sounds good. Yeah, Mystic Shield. Have you got any shooting? No. You've got Marafi's insane shoot, haven't you? Well, she can do spells at double range. Right, okay then. Alright, so Mystic Shield onto the Leviathan. Okay. Next up, I am going to go for um, the teleporty spell, which I've already forgotten the name of. Seed of Tides. Seed of Tides. This is on a 5, it goes off on a 9, you cannot deny. So, okay. Yeah, teleport. Um, I wasn't within any volcanic, he's teleported by yeah, the way, but um, you do need to only give this start one. the hero, don't you? So sorry. Why? Oh, why? So D3 mortal wounds, 3 mortal wounds, 5s to ignore. Such a shame. I don't ignore any of them as well. Honestly, <laughs> what is the point? I hate them. We're never playing on the Realm of Fire again. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> okay, uh, well, you know, first blood. Yep. Yep. Um, that should get them nice and angry. Yep. I think that's it for my hero phase. Let's get into movement. Yep. Okay, going into my movement. First things first, I'm going to run this Ishlan unit. Get a four. I don't think it's enough. It's just not enough, was it? We've got 24 and a half inches if I measure accurately. So, a four inch route run. Gives you an 18 inch move. Gives me an 18 inch move. So, you need a five. I need a five. So, you spend the command point? I need the three points. Yeah. And it's disposable. So, yes, I'm going to spend the command point, taking me down to zero, zero. command points. Okay. and giving me the six inch move which i'm going to use to the most effect really because yep. i really want to just put the guys as far away as possible so it gives me a 20 inch move doesn't it mm -hmm. all i'm going to do is tag it for points it's going to be no problem for you to, to take that up. to retake it um but right now that's what it's going to be about Okay. I don't need to tag it with three models, I'll tag it with one and again yeah, just keep yeah. the unit as far back as possible. This Ishlan unit is going to run. And it's a two, so again, not a great run. Um giving me a 16 inch move. Yeah. Okay. Let's put them in a strategic but in fact actually let's put them within no. the boat. Get the ignore. Give them the six up ignore from the boat. Mm-hmm. And live with that. Um, can't make it to the objective anyway. Actually, yep. I didn't pre measure it, but I think it's 16 inch and miles away, wasn't I? Yeah, what the closest model was 21 inches. Well, if you get a six inch run, you could. Yeah, I, but I didn't. So. Mm, oh, sorry. Oh, you mean with the issue now? I was, I was just checking because I reallocated their movement. I could have gone to there, I think. Mm. The more so I could try and get it, but. Actually, having re-measured that, the two-inch run does get me onto that it. objective. I was—I I forgot how much more biased I was over this yeah. side of the table. 
Um, so that gets me onto there. That gives me a clean sweep of the points. Mm -hmm. I think the only thing to do really is is just to play a little bit of um, a long distance running game here. Um, okay, the flaws. I don't want to make life easy for your blender. Do I? Yes. Right, I'll tell you what, the Morsal Guard are going to run. Okay. Okay, that's a three inch move. That gives them a 17 inch move in total. Yeah. <laughs> it's really tricky. It's really, I'm so terrified of your blender. Um, I'm going to bring them out here. They're not that powerful. Out of an inch from that terrain because there's no way I want... I've got fly. I have to remember I've got fly and I have to use that to as much as an advantage as possible. So let's put that terrain between you yep. and anybody else you're planning on doing. If you double turn me though, I don't think that was enough of a move. I was hoping to get right over to this in corner just in case you double me with Marathi. Uh, yeah, um, that was, Marathi, that was yeah. the plan. So um, Voltornos is running as well. It's a one. That's that's. We're bordering on worst case scenario now. Um, yeah, let's make it okay. So with that, that gives him a fifteen inch move. You know what? I need him there the more. So <laughs> sorry, I kind of do in turn three though, and I've got yeah. the mobility to not necessarily have to worry about it. But I just don't want him to get tied down. Um, the um, Leviathan. Yeah, that's a tricky one, really. Okay, Leviathan's just going to do a standard move, hop over here, keep out of an inch from the volcanic terrain, but give himself a six up ignore from that. Yep. Um, I really did, by the way, with that move, give the uh, Mystic Shield to the wrong unit, didn't I? Mm. Mind you, actually, you know, but mm. you know, in, in hindsight, and hindsight's a wonderful thing. The yeah. Thralls are going to. Um, yeah. Okay, so actually at this stage, this unit is remaining where it is. I've actually moved it back about half an inch. Yep. I've just pulled it back in case of any Marafi shenanigans. And you know what the one dude that is going to do? He's going to move to this midpoint, and he's going to move to the midpoint. And the reason I've done that is if I have to start taking casualties off, I don't want them pulled yep. out of the, the, the bubble, if you like, so I can take from the edges. Um, which seems to be the way to go. So I think that's it for my movement, and we are okay. into shooting. There we go, they're moving into shooting the harpoons on the back of the Leviathan, they're targeting. I think because there's no rend on this, the best thing I can do is go for the blender. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm targeting the 30 uh, witch elves. lady unit of witch elves, yeah. Um, this is six attacks hitting on threes. Um, five hit. Wounding on trees. Four wounds, no rend, one damage. Four six palmers, and five up to ignore damage. Ignored one, so three of them die. Okay. Okay, so there we go into battle shot phase. I take six points in that turn just to explain that because it's changed yeah. for shifting objectives. Two points for the primary objective, but it's a battle line unit I've secured it with, yes. giving me three points. One point for the secondary objectives over here, but again, battle line giving me two points, mm -hmm. taking me to five in total. This isn't a battle line unit, of course, so taking the middle one. objective giving me one, taking me to a total of six points. Yes. You need to take battle mm -hmm. shocks. You got I've just realized um, I don't because I'm actually bravery nine at the minute because battalion bonuses. So they're more than 20 models, so they're plus two bravery, so they're bravery nine, and I only lost three, so I can't fail. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> Roll the dice anyway. <laughs> See what I get. Uh, I got a three, yeah, so I would have been okay. That would have been okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's going to be one of yeah. those games. Um, yeah, I think I think at that, it's time for you to unleash the blender. <laughs> yeah. um, and let's see what I've got left by turn two. <laughs> Here we go then, going into your blending round. Is the when is blending phase? It comes after shooting, it's doesn't it? Oh no, it comes after charge phase. Turn blending. three is not in our <laughs> blending phase. Um, I've got a roll to see if that explodes, and if it does, I'm going to actually cry. No, it yeah, um, it's worth mentioning. Doesn't... Of course, I've also got a volcanic here. Oh so, yeah, you've got um, two because you've got 
the scenery as well. Did they count the Yeah, did it's all terrain. Okay, so uh, the, the wood, no. The, the boat, no. And I'm not within an no, inch there, actually. So, and cool. no, all good. All good. Then I've got my witch bruise. I'm going to put one on the, the, the witches, of course. Yep. No rolling and dice for this now. And one on Marathi. Um, yeah. Boop! Then, I, I actually, to be honest, I should just say Marathi's going to transform. Yeah. She has to do that at the start. So, cool. so, the way it works, because I know oh, a lot, actually, yeah, we a lot of people, a a lot of people get it. angry at me when I do this in tournaments, but this is how it works. So, I basically have to place her like this. Directly over where she's Directly she over the point. The centre of her base over the centre of Unless. her base. Unless. Unless she cannot fit, in which case, if she cannot fit, you have to move her the shortest possible distance until she can fit. So now, I've done this the way, it would be five inches this way, it's about four, four inches, four that, inches way. that way, four, four inches nine, that yeah. way, and then it's three inches forward. So she moves until she gets to there. So and cunningly, and transition. you can really, you could really yeah, drive that forward. Yeah, I mean, this thing, I've gained five inches of extra movement. Uh, and there. not only that, if you wanted to, you could actually up that quite a bit. Yeah, think, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, obviously, I mean, deployment zone it. allow, but you know. You know, and I just, it, it takes like forever if you want to actually do that. I just couldn't be bothered. So. I'm used to it. It's the rule. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those. And it's part of deployment. And if you're yeah. smart, that's how you deploy it's, Marathi. Yeah, it's one of our mechanics. So, um, prayers. I'm going to go for Blessing of Cain. Um, I get it. So that gives them the re-rollable ignore. I'm going to go for, mm, I'll go with Catechism of Murder onto Marathi, actually. I get it, so that gives her sixes to hit her and I so hit. wish. No, it doesn't matter. And then Martyr's <laughs> Sacrifice onto the Witch Elves. I get it. So every time they die on a five up, you take more wounds. I'm sorry, I've got something on my feet. <laughs> it's alright. Uh, Marathi's going to try and Mind Razor herself. Um, not on a double one. <laughs> so I don't get that, at least. Um, yeah. Then the... Blessings. The um, Chariot is actually going to give... It's going to... Try and cast Steed of Shadows on itself. I get it on an eight, so you can try and stop that. Okay, let's see what we can do with that. I'm gonna go for the deny, and oh man, it was a ten for a second. Dropped to a nine, so unfortunately. Hold on a second, I can re-roll a yeah. deny with the either one. Yeah, no, I think it's only casting he can re-roll. Oh, I think we're right. Yeah. You're right, aren't we? Yeah. Sad times. Yeah, it's only casting roll I can re-roll or heal D3. Yeah. You know, I get the option. Um, that's for my hero phase, so now it's just into movements. Yeah. Okay, over to movement. The snake unit. Running? Five. So that gives them an 8-inch move, aren't they? 13-inch move. They're good. Which just is enough to get a couple of them. Yeah, and that's all you need. So you're not charging. No, no. Well, I couldn't get onto the objective secure like i would have to charge if i didn't do the run to get enough onto the objective yeah and so, it probably would have been quite a long charge as yeah, well yeah exactly so i just wanted to yeah sorry i was just, i was thinking that's quite a long way back yeah yeah but, which yeah. is why i only tagged it with one model and hung yeah. them back as long as possible i knew it was kind of i knew it was a possibility this unit running getting the hell off the terrain piece so that's actually an 11 inch move which can just get her off okay now that's yeah. also a deadly terrain so a unit if that I finishes, finishes a move. move so have you got the last model off yeah yes including the one inch drop to the ground yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. there's a one inch drop to the ground there is indeed. No. um i'll command pointer okay. so i'll make that a six how so many command points will you i'll on? only have one so back to one or, or down to zero uh, down to zero okay and that gives me plenty of move to get that unit onto the objective and they can be holding it. You know, my hope is I'm going to be holding objectives with my battle line units. So you're going to score well? So I'm going to get one extra point than you. Yeah, yeah. Doing good. Marathi with the 14 inch move. Oh. Going for Ting Patong. No, Jack, no. <laughs> Don't forget you could suffer a mortal wound for being near that boat. Basically gets a... I mean, like, once a game that might happen. Right to the boat. Like that. Do you, just to double check, yeah, you, you yeah. Okay. Well, 
Well, as in you're within an inch of both of yeah, those terrain yeah, pieces. No, you don't plan on pl staying there. Just yeah. planning on charging. Yeah, you're not so. planning on staying there. Yeah. The witch elves running three, so that gives them a nine. That gets them up. Okay. On to the objective. Now, you know, I'm still 50-50 on whether to charge this you unit. You can run and charge with this unit? I can run and charge because of my horn, but it's whether I do. Ta -ta -ta. Because... Well, you know what you're going to do when that happens. Is you just yeah, I'm, a, my... I'm activating the clan. I get it out of the way early. You do get it out of the way, yeah. yeah. So there is something to say with that, but you know, you can this also roll hag... a double one on your charge, which would make me cry like a baby. Just twelve. Just perfect. tears of joy, though. <laughs> Babies do cry them as well. Um, this hag <laughs> getting a five, which gives her an eleven inch move, getting up to there, and then this thing's actually got a sixteen inch move to fly <laughs> because of its steed of shadows. Hell, so it's like, hell. can I actually get it? I can't really, so that's going to go over this way, just in the ruins, giving out the bubble of five up to ignore. I know yeah. I'm kind of abandoning. You've got to be holding with them with that. No, just within seven. Yeah, Alt yeah. Alt I mean, why? Why? Alt rolls. What? Why would you need to be holding with it? <laughs> um, that's movement. So now it's on to shooting. Marathi takes a pot shot at. She's got to look at you. Look at the eels. <sighs> um, she hits. How she many hits. wounds are an eel? Four. Uh, four wounds. So on a five up, one's dead. No. Okay. Oh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, well, you know. Welcome to Hero Shots. <laughs> <laughs> As we enter into squeaky bum phase. Chargers. Squeak. Six. Oh. It's enough. Oh, it's enough for sure. I mean, yeah. So she's going to be able to get to... It's kind of because of tails and stuff, but she's like, I know she's it's right fine. up against the boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just wait so for those she's mortal there. wounds. The witch elves um, can reroll the ones because daughters. So four, five, six, seven. Um, seven. No, you've four. not made it. It's seven and three quarters. You get it. Hold on a second. Oh. There's right. like a one eighth in okay, there, isn't there? It's up there. to you. No, they'll stay Go there. Go for it if you want. Do it if you it's want. It's okay. They no, I'm cool. There. Get no, in there. No, they'll stay there. I've got the objective. That's what matters. Okay. Um, so that's all the charges. Now it's into combat. Into combat, you activate what I like to call Marathi, the ineffectual. Here um. we go. Um, <laughs> six attacks with heart render. Hitting on threes. Oh. That's not good. Two misses. Oh, clutching my Wounding head. Wounding on threes. Rerolling. Okay, some dice ready. Oh, that's really not good. Two saves. Um, at three up saves because you're in cover. Two, three up saves because I am unreadable. What's the rend on that normally? Minus two. Boom. Yeah. Save. There you go. She's whiffed. Um, that's uh, going to be an extra hit for the six. Um, that's re-rolling wounds. Five, four saves, sorry. Four, three up saves. Yep. Um, oh, three going and through just that just one time. damage. So, six um, up ignores. Six up ignores because of the boat. Uh, two going through. Okay, and the tail hits. Wounds, so one save. One, three up with this save. <sighs> six damage. Six damage. I've got a feeling I got re-roll of ones from something. But no, I you've got the mystic shield. No, 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 exactly, yeah. Yeah. So six up ignores. At four going through, so that's well, six wounds in them. total. So you do indeed. She get whiffed one the heart render attacks, but she yeah. kind of made up with getting the tail through. Okay. Um, they get to fight back. Of course. Wind, of course, on your mount. Yep, so here we go then. I am uh, fighting back against Marafi. I, with the attacks from the Hellsaber, um, I've got four attacks, uh, sorry, three attacks and four from the boss. Yep. Hitting on threes, re-rolling ones, because the Vault Ornus is within mm -hmm. range. Um, there's one one in there. And then wounding on threes. Yep. You're going to be able to save your way. Oh, re-rolling, no, no, no not no re-rolling re the wounds yet. Four saves there for you, Two. no rend. Four of armor. Two go through with sixes to ignore. Two go through. Two attacks with the fine small. 
um, re-rolling the one with Voltornos' locality, and then wounding on threes with a maul. Uh, just one wound again, no rent, uh, no rent, saved. And then 2d3 attacks with a lashing tail. Really could do with that's um, three attacks with a lashing tail, hitting on threes, uh, wounding on threes, re-rolling the ones. Um, uh, so that's three wounds, no rend, one damage. One goes through, six up to ignore. Oh, it bounced off that a six there, good. surely, didn't it? That was so cruel. So that's the three wounds taken yeah. at least. That is not good. Not good. Okay, so here we go, back into battle um, your battle shock. Them. Test to be taken over there. Uh, I'm good. Okay. Uh, I, sorry, I should have said there are uh, six, so I would have yeah, needed yeah. six. Uh, that's everything from me. So I get max points. I get three for five, six, seven, because they're all battle line units holding it. Takes you to a one point lead. One point advantage. I'm electing not to do a roll off for turn two. <laughs> I'm going to hire somebody else to do it for me so I don't have to okay, suffer stress. Have stress yeah. Okay, we'll be back shortly after I've recruited someone to roll the dice. And here we go for roll off for turn two. <laughs> I got two. I got three. So you win. <laughs> Or rather, I got a free on the hard one still. There we go. Let's so look, before, before we you decide. choose, yeah, because we need to do the objective. Is that right? You do the yes, objective yeah, before you do it, the players decide. I mean, technically, you should do the objective then the roll off. So yeah, okay, well, let's roll it. Four, Middle. which is a two. So it goes. <laughs> You took a while then, didn't you? You're like, there's only three like, objects. There isn't a four. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it goes right to me. Okay, that's made me have to think. This might be one of those things we look at at the end of the game and go, <laughs> you that was idiot. an idiot move. <laughs> but I'm going to explain my rationale. I'm giving you the turn. I'm letting yeah. you double me. And the reason I'm letting you double me is, as far as I can see it, because this charge fa failed, mm -hmm. I've still got the Cloud of Midnight. Yep. Marafi is still in combat. Yep. I think the best you can do this turn is one, you're gonna gain an eight point advantage. Yep. Not super excited about an eight point advantage going into turn two, but we'll come back from that in a minute. Mm -hmm. um, the best Marafi can do is finish that unit off. Yes. Um, the best they can do probably is to get into that unit. Maybe they can Whether come round to the Leviathan. The thing is, All with, I'm gonna do with is you having the turn right. next and the thralls just charging into it, and I can't risk the thralls activating first against me. And the best you could probably do over here is come Try forward and, kill and take out those three Ishlam, which you may or may not do. Four up and rendable. Four up and rendable is not great. But they do great. have more wound touches now. But they got them all wound touch. I'm aware of that. So I, I think the the best you could do is wipe that unit yeah. out. Worst case is you leave one or two. Yeah, yeah. But you know, so worst case scenario is I lose my two units of Ishlan, mm. and I get a massive disadvantage on points. But I actually think that's better than the altar. I can't win any of these objectives where I'm positioned. Maybe the Morsar Guard could take that objective. Yeah. Maybe. 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 Um. But all it would do is earn me two points. Yes. I can't do anything about that objective, and I've not got the right numbers where they need to be for the middle objective. Yeah. So I'm going to give you the turn. Okay. I'm going to regret it. If you get the double, I don't think you will. The interesting debate we had off camera was, okay, Jack, so what happens if you won the role? Would you have gone first, knowing what you know about the and turn it's like, of the tide? And it's like you said, you probably would... Oh, you would only be able to grab that point. And that's it. You wouldn't be able to grab this one just because I don't think you could do enough damage here. Maybe you could. Maybe you could with the Leviathan support and everything, but you can't grab the primary. I'm going to hold on to the primary. I think if there's a primary gone there, I'd have taken the turn and I'd have gone in with the Morsar. Then, what that means is if I got the turn and Marathi charges into the Morsar and I'm just murdering the Morsar before turn three. Agreed. Which is just bad. So bad news can't for me. Have that. And you know, these Ishlan surviving means you can do this more comfortably because you know Marathi's not going to be able to charge anyone this turn. Yeah. So it's your turn. Yeah. Oh, your hero face. Hey, let's do this. So. All my little tokens. Uh, volcanic visited. terrain first. Let's get this out of the way. Yeah. And we've got the boat over there. Uh, Marafi's not within an inch of the boat. No, actually. I piled her out of it. Yeah, no, you're fine. So you've got this forest here. 
Um, yeah. So on a six. No. Nope. No. The boat. The boat. No. no. And then I've. Got... And although these models got moved, they've got yeah, nudge. They were, they were an actually inch, out yeah. of an inch. So and then I've got this position. forest, which is a no. Okay. Okay, then it's... Um, uh, you've also got... Oh, sorry, you've done the forest. That's yes. what you just did. Yeah. What about this wee little dinky? Oh, yeah, that's true. I'm probably out in an inch. No. Okay. Witch brew. And a witch brew. Yeah, no roll for that, no. No. Um, Mark of sacrifice onto the witch elves. Why do I feel queasy? Get it. Blessing of Cain. On to this right. unit. Right, actually, just to explain what does what does Witch Brew do for people um, who don't Witch play Witch Brew is immunity to battle shock and reroll wounds. Right. Mark Marcus. sacrifice every time they die on a five plus. You take a mortal wound. Blessing of Cain, which is what I'm going to try and get off now. I do get it. That is a rerollable fanatical faith save. It's fanatical not. Faith it's is my ignore. The five up ignore. Well, it's a six up ignore across the army. This thing gets an aura of seven inch to make it a five up. It's not, it doesn't get cancelled out by General's Hammer because it is not an additional ignore, it is a re-rollable ignore. There yeah. is a specific difference. Yeah, yeah. I am going to put this blessing over here because I think they're going to get attacked first by the eels and I kind of want them to survive. Okay. Um, what else? What else? The Catechism of Murder, I'm going to try and get that one off. Yes. Um, so this is a prayer that allows every to, uh, to hit roll of six as an additional hit. Right. Then I'm going to try and cast the Gemma Wibs from Marathi. <laughs> I don't get it. And you don't. then oh, nice. this thing's going to enfeeble that thing. So they are minus one to wound. Sure. Um, I get it on an eight. Okay, I'll go for the deny. It's not looking good, no. So they are minus one to wound. Minus one uh, to wound. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna put. There you go. I've got. A, I've got a little token. Oh, there okay, fine. That's nice. I'll try and remember that. That is all my hero face stuff. So now it's into movements. Enfeebling. Oh. Yeah, movements. Okay, so straight into movement. Marathi retreating. What? Four. So that gives oh, her an eighty. What inch a move. coward! What I can't coward. risk her taking another three wounds there. Oh come when on! She doesn't need you to. telling me she can't kill two eels? One and a half. She eels. probably could, but I can't risk her not. <laughs> um, the witch elves <laughs> moving over to protect her again. Why are you telling me they're not charging the idol? Oh god, no! <laughs> There's no point. There's just no point. I kind of knew this is what I was doing. I was giving you the chance to reform and yes. score some points, but I still maintain where you were currently positioned and where I was currently positioned. I couldn't have done much better. No. Did I run the witch elves? I think I did. That's what I'm going to uh, run. You know, give them a roll it. anyway. <laughs> Super fast. Go. Super fast. Whee! Super fast blender. Um, Ooh, will it blend? <laughs> the hag is going to move to there just to be with us. Sorry. Do you both. want them there or oh, back there? I was moving them for you. But, yeah. Oh, tell you what. I need. So they're still with us. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. You don't want to give up on your five up ignore, do you? Tell you what. These two actually oh, yeah. are going to be. Just a couple of extra, yeah. <laughs> like that. <laughs> and the reason for that? Um, so that can move up a bit and still stay within seven, get the rear of its base. You just feel sick to your stomach playing these guys. I love it though. I love the army, to be honest. Um, I quite like them. I mean, you are playing either there, so you can just shut up. <laughs> there's like, there's nothing you can say. You cannot complain about uh, anything right now. Dear me. Um, these moving up, they're eight inch. Yeah. They're going for the three inch charge, or? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Now they're enfeebled. Now, just remind me what are the powers done to that unit? You are uh, re rolling re rollable, wounds. Uh, re rolling wounds, re rolling ignores. Um, sixes to hit is an additional hit. And you are minus one wound. The hag is running. I can re roll once because I'm daughters. <laughs> daughters say boo. I mean, they're a paper mache army, though. They're oh, gotcha. die quake, oh, but gotcha. oh my god, do they hit hard. They're not a glass cannon, they're a glass nuclear bomb. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> A cannon does not do this army justice. I mean, like I said, to be honest, Sisters of Slaughter, I think, 
is a massively underrated daughter's unit. You don't see them used enough. People get distracted by the witches. But the six inch piling is just game changing. Yeah. To just be able to decide combats with an army that's so delicate, it is horrific. Yeah. I've done some test games and it's just Nasty oh. business. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's all my movements. I've got no shooting, so it's into charges. Going into your charge phase. Yeah, I'm going to start off with these Blood Sisters. I can re-roll the one. That's also a point, actually. You know, when we were debating over the Witchers getting in, realised it wasn't turn two, so I couldn't re-roll one, so I actually rolled a five. So they wouldn't have got in. Right, okay. <laughs> um, but that's a seven inch. So that definitely gets these ones in. Yeah. Gonna slither around to here. Such a cool looking model. Yeah, just very jealous. Super delicate. I'm gonna move the dice out of the oh, way. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll just take it off the yeah. table altogether. Yeah, yeah, just yeah? so we can. Is that alright? You know. um, just for the record, it's the musician that's got the damage on him. Yep. Not that I'm expecting any of those two still to be there <laughs> at the end of this. Uh, that was one one. We went okay. on. The other Blood Sisters. Uh, that's an eight. So yeah. That is definitely enough. Yes. We. Okay. So I'll go charge. with this unit first. Right. We were just laughing. You forgot to bring your canary. In. Yeah, I was going to do this awesome play with the canary and drop them down, start chucking spears at Morsar, and then the Morsar are going to be all freaked out because like, oh no, we got to kill the canary now, and it protects the snakes. But as ever, I forgot. And. <laughs> I forgot you even owned them, which, yeah. to be honest, I'm not sure I'd have given you the turn if yeah. I'd have thought about those. You know, those there you go, it all works out then. These things tend to yeah. work out in the wash. And here we go into combat. You Just a reminder, you're sat on one command yes. point. You're like, oh, you're out of range, actually. Yeah, I'm you? out of range. Um, um, activating on this side of the table, you surprised yeah. me, but let's go the for it. The gore guy going first, hitting on twos. And the rest of them with the, the, the stabby spears hitting on three. What about the touch? I'll do that next. Okay. Because it all happened at the same well, time. Well, I know, but so. you normally start with that. You called me out, that's all. I was expecting a touch rather. <laughs> You've been freaked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all part of the mind game. So that's Don't all... forget your minus three to wound, yeah? Yeah, yeah, of course. So to I'm back the game, to two yeah. ups to wound then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Threes to wound. Um, Rerolling? No reroll. They don't have witch oh, proof. That was actually a pretty good roll. Three, six, nine, top fourteen, four up armors. Uh, I mean, this has done the unit. Do you want me to roll it, or just yeah. take them off? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten wounds. Um, that's the unit. Ten, six, up to ignore. Oh goodness! You could do something you really wrong. Well, you could. This. You're making me do this. You it's never just, know. It's embarrassing me in front of my friends. <laughs> um, I got three it? of them, so seven wounds. So you've only killed them by one wound now. Well, then I've got the mortal wounds. No, as in, you've, you've done it. And I've <laughs> done. I've done five more mortal wounds to them. And then this is forty k, yeah. So I can consolidate back. Yeah, consolidate yeah. back. Do what you want. Okay, I activate this unit. I am minus one to wounds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my triumph. I'm going to reroll Ooh, wounds. Ooh, just using it whilst you remember. One, using it while I remember. Two. Shot, these these guys are going to be the, like five up armor, followed by five up ignore, followed by another five up rerollable ignore. Yeah, but that's going to happen throughout the entire game, isn't it? <laughs> okay, okay. When, do, when does that ever change? Okay, you go for it then. Okay, I'm going to use it. Yeah, okay. okay. Oh, do I save it then? Big unit of eels. Big, big unit, unit of eels. I'll save it. No, I won't use it if you no. want. I feel bad now. I'm going to talk Stop you out of it. it. Yeah. Are you going to forget it now? <laughs> I'm much better using the reroll on a unit with Brent. Oh, okay, yeah. 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 So, are you sure? This are... could be really important. Oh, shut <laughs> up. Hell Savers hitting on three. Um, uh, rerolling once to hit. Turn two. Turn two. And then wounding on fours. No reroll. That's one, two, three wounds so far with the Hell so, Savers. Five of Palmer. Followed by five up to ignore, <laughs> which I can re-roll. Good. 
<laughs> I just needed to make one five on each of those. One attack from the bites. Uh, Rerolling the one. Oh, that's just one bite going through on a four to wound, which wounds. Saved. <laughs> and then 3d3 attacks. Um, that's one, two, three, four, uh, seven. Seven, seven okay. attacks. Hitting on threes, re-rolling ones, all hit. Yep. Wounding on fours. That is one, two, three, four, five wounds Ooh, from the lapping tails. Um, five of Palmer. Five, five of Big Which is re-rollable. You do do two wounds and actually kill one of them off. Yeah, well, you know. You're going to take that one. I think, to be honest, we should shake on the game at that. Really? Yeah, if I've killed one of those, you that's, should simply give up. That's pretty impressive. Yeah? Do you want to give up? No, I'm good. You're good. Sure. Hey. Do you want to attack back or do you want to skip that? No, no, turn? no. attack back. The, um, back I don't know okay. The spear from the Gorgai hitting on twos, it will hit. And the stabby sticks oh, from it. everybody else. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's a lot of ones. That is actually quite a lot of ones and twos, but it's all right. It's okay. It's okay. We've got, oh, there's only sixes. There's two sixes there, so I get two extra hits from Catechism. This is new, me remembering Catechism. Normally I just forget. Well, Catechism. Then, he's doing Catechism. Chism. Chism. And with a re-roll. Okay. That is... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 saves. Now you got 4 of armor. That's, statistically, that's only 8 going through. You've not through. done any mortal wounds yet, though. Yeah. Right? Yeah, okay. Come on then. 2, 4, 16 saves on a 4 up. Oh, that is 1, 2. We've got a cock dice there, but I'll count that first. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five wounds so far with the cock See? dice. Six wounds so far. See? That's only half the unit. I'm gonna need to do six mortal wounds on these touches, and I have eight dice. And that is six mortal wounds. Because that is five five hits, so that's five mortal wounds, but the six generates an additional hit, and every hit with a scath touch is a mortal wound. So that six turns into six hits doing six mortal wounds. And successfully get the eels. <laughs> but it was close. And there we go into. Who's <laughs> the um, best elf race, Dad? It's daughters. I'm going to answer that for you. There we go into <laughs> Battle Shark. <laughs> Are our souls tainted by Slanesh? Yes, but we're still better than you. We've got better taint. Our taint takes the form of big snake tails. Yours just makes you blind. Any battle shot test, Jack? No. No, you're all good? Yeah. Mine I'm enjoying too. this. I'm, in, I'm enjoying this until those 20 <laughs> thralls come in and then it's just death. <laughs> um, yeah, I get all points again, so I get three, four, five, six, seven. Um, no, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I do get seven. So. Okay, excellent news. Let's get into Iden of Deepkin, turn two. final turn. <laughs> There we go then, starting my turn. Let's go for the ritual. I'm looking for a natural nine. Nope. I double one it. Nope. 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 Um, let's go for um, Tsunami of Terror. That goes off on a nine. Are you going to try and deny yes. that? Yes. No. Ooh, I, I saw the five. Yeah, I, I saw the well. five. Right, I think that's D6. D6. Tsunami of Terror is D6 enemy units. So six enemy units. But it's only a 12 inch range? It is only a 12 inch range. It's not wholly within, but it's within. So you can get one, two, three, four. Yeah, they are in, aren't they? You can get four units. So, so I'm going to do that one. One, two, so three, three, four. Four. Isn't there another witch somewhere? Oh, um, she's yeah, right she's over, over there. there yeah. Right, okay then. So they are all minus one bravery and minus one to hit. Yep. Next up is Mystic Shield. The Anna 4 it doesn't go um, off, but I can re-roll a cast. Now, I don't need to heal this turn, so let's do that. Yes, it goes off on the 9. Stop with the chariot. I do not. So, Mystic Shield onto the Leviathan? Yeah. The Leviathan. The more sorrow out of range, I could go with Voltanos, but... I need Voltanos alive. He'll probably be fine. The eels will deal with that. 
Yeah, okay then. So let's go with um, the Leviathan on the oh. shield. Right. I think that's hero, isn't it? Hero phase into movement. Yep. Oh wait, we've got some terrain to do. So you are near the boat. Yeah, yeah, on um, a six. On a six. Nope. And then uh, the fish tried to eat me. No, that volcanic was the six, then the fish tried to eat me. Oh, four, sorry, right? okay, we were doing one way around there. Uh, okay. Um, this boat? Uh, yes. On a six. So what explodes. are you doing, volcanic? volcanic? Why are you doing volcanic first? Yeah. Because I did my fish go off there. No, what did you roll? Can't remember. Um, Doesn't matter. We'll have a look. Let's go again. No. Uh, uh, no. Then this one. Um, volcanic. No. Oh, of course you don't. Um, volcanic. This one, yeah. Uh, oh, are you rolling? I That's fine. One. Yeah, I got one too. Oh, okay, there you go. <laughs> um, and the, uh, this one. unit over here. No, it's good. No. So, all good in terms of the crazy terrain rolls. Yes. Uh, I think That's, that's it. Movement? Yeah, movement. Why not? Okay, going into movement, I've got a 12 inch move with um, the Eidolon of Mathlan. He's going to come over here. I think it might, he's going to have to be three inches. Yeah, that's fine, to be that's there. Fine. Is that okay? Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. think that still covers me three inch, but so we're physically half he's an inch back from over. there. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. um, right, the Morsar Guard. <laughs> you can run inches. and charge if you want this turn. Just I, saying. Do I need it? I'm going to run them anyway. I can There's run. No reason oh, that's not a point. To. Let's just run but him. He's as... got his shooting. <sighs> yeah, why not? Keep the shooting. Yeah. Okay. I'm just thinking if I fluff the charge roll, because I really need to drag Marafi in. But let's face it, even with three inch. Yeah, but even with three inch, I'm probably I'm less than six the inch away. The only thing is, the shooting could I could remove from here, which makes your charge longer. Yeah, I know. Good point. All right, we're good at that. Um, I am going to run the Morsar. That's a three inch, giving them a, a seventeen inch move. Yeah, I'm going to go gonna full on round here. Question is, do I activate the mortal wound output at this stage? I don't think you'll need that. Yeah, I'm hoping I don't. Yep, he's falling off. It's almost, again. it's weird that thing. It's almost better as a defensive thing. <laughs> like you activate it when somebody charges you. Yeah. Next up then, Voltornas. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to do the run. I yeah. don't really need it, but he's got it. So he's just going to come right over here and tag by the three inches there, yeah? yeah. So, um, right. Next up, I'm going to run the uh, Leviathan. Mm -hmm. It's a five inch, giving it a 17 inch move. Okay. That puts me right. I'm going to go this side. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's good. Um, yeah, it's officially base like that, yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you. Safe damaging models, and I am going to run the uh, um, there's no reason not to. The, uh, yeah, the thralls that's the yeah, word I'm looking for. The They've got a six inch move, yes, giving them a 10 inch run. Let's get up there. And again, it's like you're saying, because you're going to charge the idol on him, pop the cloud at midnight, you know, even if I get the turn. The witches are going to be in combat, which means that the best they're not they going to be able to retreat. retreat and charge. Yeah, so you know the thralls can move up safely. I don't really want to spend the command point. That's the danger. If I mess up a couple of three-inch charges, I mean, I've. It can happen. And with me, more often than not. But you know, I did yeah. think about getting everyone within six inch. Um, but I can't really see the point at this stage, I think. Let's just get them up. I'm going to run both of these units. So Mr. Lefty gets a three, Mr. Righty gets a three. So giving them a nine inch move in both instances. Just going to bring them up the center there. That's mm -hmm. fine. It's not ideal because I like the idea of getting them into combat as well. Ah, oh, right. Okay, I have fluffed up a little bit there on one of the moves. Maybe I should have come over here with the Leviathan. I'll do it if you want it. Is that all right? I'm just thinking, because I've got the fly keyword, if I got an amazing charge in, as insane as it is, 
I could go, for instance, if I got 12 inch, I could go there and try and stamp it. Kill the hag, yeah. Kill the hag, you know, but we'll see. All right, into the Eidolon of Mathlan hits you with his abyssal energy. This is D3 attacks. Got three attacks onto Marathi. Threes to hit. Yep. Uh, don't no. do the reroll one. Uh, all hit. Okay. Threes to wound. Don't get a reroll one, but two wounds at minus two ren doing minus two damage. Two ren. Six of armor. Four damage. Yeah, she takes number three. Oh, that's really not that's good. bad news for you. That is not good. That indeed. is stinky, smelly bad. Here we go then, some important charges now then. So the Morsar oh. Guard looking for a three. <laughs> three. Twelve. Right. Okay, so let's take the Morsar in. Um, I don't know whether to save the mortal wound or use it. I've I just broken. That. I've just broken the banner. <laughs> oh, the pain and agony of. Um, you know what? I'm going to put loads. I'm going to spread out a little bit, and there's a reason for that because it means the less you can pile into Voltornos, because Voltornos is going in as well. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to put him there like that. That's cool. And then Voltanos is going in on a three. Gets a three. Okay. Don't need any more on than that. On a two up. On a two up, dishing out mortal wounds from the horn. Do indeed. It's D3, D3 isn't it? Two mortal wounds. Uh, no, ignored. So one of them dies. I did have one girl that was on Okay, the Eidolon of Mathlan gets a six. It's enough. So he's in. So he was half an inch back, but that basically puts me yep. there. Where it's about an inch away from Marathi. Yep. And it's, you know, half an inch away from those guys. I'm just going to do that, yeah. Um, and then the uh, Leviathan going for its charge. Really could do with something tremendous. I don't get it. Um, I'm just not going to, I'm not going to anger the um the the whatever those dudes are yeah what are the snakes the snakes so yeah. uh, just gonna come the air basically yeah yeah oh, the smoke's on smoke's in the way it's like you know what let's just do that they're super spiky models yeah fine. super spiky models but they're in um cool. of course the snakes out of three inch yeah, yeah. yeah um right okay that's charge is over let's get into combat phase just to say at the start of combat phase i i um released the cloud of midnight which means neither marathi nor um the witch elves can target her uh, target the um eidolon of mathlan in combat yep. nor can the eidolon fight back of course so that yes. it just neutered the center of the table i will activate them all Okay, as crazy as it sounds, I am going to use the reroll wounds on this one. Yes. Just because I'm negating your save, so I'm, I want to push everything through to your ignore, mm -hmm. basically, as much as possible. Ideally, my job here is to make sure um, no, Voltornos has to do nothing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that I'd be perfectly happy with that. So here we go. There are 13 attacks coming out of this unit yes. on the charge. I am not using my um, shockwave. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's just 13 attacks, hitting on threes, re-rolling ones because of turn two, Futan. Yep. Oh, and why not? Just and because not? Voltornos, Voltornos is there as well, yeah? Looking for threes. That's not good news for you because the only two that didn't hit were the ones. Um, so that is 12 hits so far. Three Wounding two. on threes, re-rolling. Re that was a potentially good idea on the re-roll. That was a great idea on the reroll because that is one, two, three, four, five, eleven wounds of minus two rend. Twenty-two damage. damage on sixes. <laughs> I make one six, so they're definitely gone. So the unit's gone. Okay. But snaky explosion. I roll ten dice for each snake that dies, and on a <laughs> one plus, you take more. Whatever. Wounds. I just want to say. Who's the best elf faction? Me! Okay. I'm the best elf! Alright, alright. You're the best elf. Yeah, I'm You're the, the best, best elf. Best at dying. Yeah, at least my god didn't give me away. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, oh, you no. activate in the oh, wagon of pain. <laughs> um, I've got the tail of serpents. D6 attacks. Two on fours. Two hits and fours. Two saves at no rest. So two, three of saves, re-rolling ones because of Mystic Shield. Yep. And both good. Claw. <laughs> the Whisper Claw. Um, three hits. The Claw! The Claw! Three wounds. Two wounds from the Claw! The Rent? Uh, no, Rent. Two three ups, re rolling one. Oh, and there's a two, so one wound going through. Hey. Damage? Uh, just one. Yeah, this thing's pathetic. It's <laughs> the spear. <laughs> one hit. <laughs> um, nothing. And then six attacks from the goats. Oh. On <laughs> one hit. Oh, I hate this thing so much. And uh, one wound. Uh, no, sorry, no I'm sorry, I no drifted rent. off them. Yeah. Uh, three up, ignore. Uh, I got a two. I rolled a two. Oh, okay, two wins. Two it wins doesn't bracket it him, but um, I think it does. Oh no, it doesn't. Yeah. Okay, fighting back. Yeah. I have one attack with a crushing yeah, jaw. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Yeah, oh, he's a five. Oh, oh two's the wound. It wounds minus two rent. That's right. D six damage. Six damage. Oh, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Five ups to ignore. I ignored two, so that's four wounds so far. Four attacks coming out of the uh, massive starving fins. This is. Um, I'm sure I said fans in the last game. <laughs> uh, three to hit, three rolling ones for Bhutan. Uh, three to wound, re rolling ones because of Bhutan. Yep. That is uh, four wounds at minus one rent. Six up. I oh, made two. So that's, that's six, six damage. damage. Um, five of ignore. I ignore three, so that's three more going through. Twin prong spears, two attacks hitting on threes. Rerolling the one, but none in there. Threes to wound, no reroll the one on this one. And then I have four attacks ignore with the threes. harpoons on threes. Reroll ones. And threes to wound, no re-roll on that, but all wounding, no rend, one damage. I mean, that four. Four, sorry, yes. Five of armor. Five up to ignore. <gasps> we'll take one wound. So that's eight wounds in total on that. How many has it got? She's got 13. Oh, tougher than I thought. I thought that was an eight wound model. I was getting giddy there. <laughs> it's huge! I know it's big, but it's just a go-kart. <laughs> Next up, I activate my um, Eidolon of Mathlan. Yes. Uh, oh. <laughs> Going into your Battleshock phase, um, you've got no Battleshock tests, I've got no Battleshock tests, um, the cloud is clearing. It's dissipating uh, in the water. <laughs> I love that rule though, because yeah. that was a really effective. It's, I'm quite proud of my tactics there. Squiddy! Um, <laughs> Just on the eyes. Oh, no, oh, jeez. I can't see anything. All I can think now is SpongeBob SquarePants with squid, Squidly. Squidward. Squidly. I thought you were going to go with like Zoidberg from Futurama or something. I mean, <laughs> um, no, none of that. Back to the game. We are losing. You can tell this is an off, yeah. this is an off the record bat yeah, That's yeah, what we're going to call bonus off the record. record yeah. yeah. Um, I've okay. got no battle shocks. I, appallingly, though, I scored two, two points, points to yeah. a fourteen point lead. I finally updated the chart as well. Yep. Um, so clearly, a six point lead going into turn three. Just rolling for the objective. Rolling for the objective. I, one. <laughs> number one. Two, number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Two. Okay, it's in the middle again. Oh. Okay. That's almost a bad thing as well. Though I would rather it be over there. But what are we gonna do? Roll off for turn three. Okay, here we go. Uh, it's a five. I got six! <laughs> yes! <laughs> no! No! <laughs>
Uh, it's just some murdering no. to be done over here. No. Um, <laughs> so, uh, hero phase. I've just I'm, seen what you're gonna do. Go I'll on. Pop then. my witch bruise. I'm gonna go yeah. Marathi. Okay. And I'm gonna go this unit of snakes. All right. Um, I've got prayers. We've got some terrain off. to do as oh, well. Oh, we do so have terrain. We'll get into that um, before you start the pumping boat. powers out. Do you want to so go your side first? No, uh, the okay, volcanic no. lava. Yes, that's so gone off. D3 so D three wounds. Three. three wounds, which I'm going to put all against units next to the boat. No, the... it doesn't work like that. You have to, the unit has to be wholly within six of the boat. To get it the it does. Yeah, oh, so that's just mystical. three wounds. Um, in which case, the boat over here. <gasps> oh! oh D3 takes Bortolos. D3. Three! three. three. Six oh. ups to ignore, though, because the boat. <laughs> oh. oh! Who's the best elf? Boltonos takes three wounds. The, um, uh, the, the eels. eels. One. To be fair, though, right. Uh, okay. What? Either way, you would have taken D3. I'm going to say, like, you did pile right right round, but it's okay. Um, um, no, I didn't activate him. Yeah, that's But I could have, foolishly, because I was so giddy about that, I should have used my right. piling move to move away. If you want, I'm going to let you. I'm going to let you take away. We know it's exploded. Yeah. Yeah, we know it's exploded and we know they're going to take the wounds, but I'll let you take the mortal wounds off Vault on us because that is you just being old and forgetful. Um, You're a beautiful I'm gonna, soul. I'm going to roll to see if this explodes. You're a beautiful soul. Doesn't this explode? Doesn't. Okay. Okay, does this explode? Because it could also get the. <laughs> So do you three mortal wounds? Come, 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 come. <laughs> yeah. oh, only one. Okay, so you've taken two more wounds uh. in total there. Okay, um, back to my stuff. I'm going to put um, Catechism of Murder onto Marathi. Uh, actually, I can't because she's over here. But I did get it off, but it's going to have to go onto the snakes. I'm not actually thinking about where stuff's going. Um, I'm going to put... I feel sorry for people correcting all of our errors here. Yeah. We're jumping around like we're, we're all over the place. We're a bit giddy today. I'm going to put Blessing of Cain onto the Witch Elves just in case they get it. And then I'm putting, what else have I got left? Martyr Sacrifice, again, onto the Witch Elves. I get it. Um, I'm going to try and enfeeble the th the th Don't do it. Don't do it. If I run away enough, though, you shouldn't be able Can to Can you get... also please remember you are minus one to hit across all of that? Yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm going to try and enfeeble the Leviathan. Uh, I get it on a six, so you uh, can try and go stop for that. the deny. Yeah, you've got he can do two, so. <laughs> Did you stop it? No. Oh, okay. I'm going to try and mind razor Marathi. I got it on a ten. Try and go stop again. Him. No. Marathi is feeble roll. Marathi is angry. Um, that is I all feel, my hero I feel phase. like I'm about to incur some real. Yeah. Oh, on a four up, that takes D3 more wounds from. It just hurts. It hurts being there. No, to be honest, yeah, the model's awful. Um, no, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> it just hurts. <laughs> just spikes everywhere. <laughs> it just, yeah. That's literally what it says. It just hurts to be around her, so... Um, I can't believe it's still alive. Yeah. I no. thought I'd do that. Yeah, And then me I too. thought you'd be really angry with me. Me too. And I actually did well against it, I think. Did, did you, you do, do that? well on saves? No. Yeah, mm, you did knows. pretty well. You know what? You saved the Scything things, which would have could have been twelve wounds. True. And you saved two of them, didn't you? True. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, movements Feel now. Feel bad about that. Do you want to go no. back with that? No, no you're all right with back to on that. Yes. Yeah. I'm good. All right. Okay. Move. Which okay. elves? Run. <laughs> Running. Running far away. Five. That will be enough because that's an eleven. Which please can get tell that. me they can't run and charge. <laughs> they can run and charge, but they can't retreat and charge. And, oh, okay, right. Yeah. Imagine that, it'd be like yeah. the biggest Jabay ever. I was gonna have a super, <laughs> super little cry to myself. But... You thought you got away, yeah. did you know? Uh, the hag is running as well. Three, that gets her over to here. Come, um, come, 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 that's gonna retreat out. Yeah. Only the, I'll get to your ones because I'm Run daughters. Oh, wow, you're great. You come and go. <laughs> I didn't know any Seeker songs, but I will do a Karma song. It did pay off on me. Um, I've got the snakes gonna move 
just to get all of them three inches away. Yak, yak. Do oh, you that's been vice first, doesn't it? I just forgot. No, you're fine. You're fine. I don't, okay. I don't fight first, Jack. That's it's my um, turn three. They're going to all just kind of retreat <clears throat> onto the object. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot you fight first across the Well, that the was the beauty. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but I assume that's why you were celebrating so much because basically you retreat by score yeah, a whole boatload exactly, of points. Yeah. Essentially win the game on points. Yes, that's the plan. Um, and Whether that actually happens though. Do you have any nine inch rulers? I've got one. Yeah, I've got one. Pass me one. Because so I'm going to remember yeah, yeah, about my own I'm units. I'm loving your style. So. Here we go, one unit of Canari. Caw -caw! <laughs> Caw! Good night. Okay, so two, two units. units in. That's all my movements. Shooting the Canari yeah, and gonna... the Morsar gun. Everything into the Morsar. I'm just going to do both units at okay, the same time. Just to be clear, close. because these shots are coming across this terrain piece, I am going to allocate my first few wings against that guy. There's two wings allocated to him over there. No, there isn't that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so here we go. The boss has hit on twos, re-rolling. I mean, once he's dead, Jack. Okay, that's all right. Then. And the other one's wound on twos. Uh, hit on three, sorry, re-rolling. Yeah. And then... Uh, sorry, can I just double check? Did you actually measure who the closest unit is? Um, well, they're both equally nine inches away, so, so I get, get to choose. choose. Yeah, because it's all right. I had to be. Fine. I'm making. I'm actually more making the point for the audience. Yeah, you put them right on nine inches yeah, in the nine inch ruler. Yeah. So, um, seven saves at minus two. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I might have to do rule lawyer. I don't know, Jack. <laughs> Right. Put those three wings back on Vortorna, switch you? <laughs> Seven, Seven at, a minus at minus two. two. Well, I'm going to do, so you have to two, do two at a time. Yeah. Two over here, yeah. So these are two six up saves. Six ups. Uh, both going through. So he dies. Killing that one. And then he needs now I'm going to do four five ups on a five ups. Okay, so two of those going through. Okay, and then roll the And then two rolling the last up. one. Uh, which goes through. Okay. So three wounds through to the other model. Yep. Okay. And then on a four, they get to move. So the canary on camera uh, do get to move, and the canary off camera do get to move. Oh, did you do all your shooting? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I did oh, all geez, all I thought they did well. What? <laughs> <laughs> Javelin did Didn't on. they do well? <laughs> And moving those. So again, for people yeah, unfamiliar with the army, six on a four up, they can make a six inch move after shooting, or is it just in the um, shooting phase? No, they have to shoot. They have to shoot, yeah. and that gives it's, them the move. It's the same as how the stabby ones have to attack in combat to do it. Right, okay then. Those wings aren't the problem no, at all, are they? Alrighty uh, ho, here we go into charge phase, and you've realised you yes, forgot to move a unit. I was meant to do a movement and I forgot, and you've kindly let me have a backseat. You let me have a backseat yeah. over here, and you'd even talked about doing it. Yes. And then and we then got forgot, distracted by shooting. I was, so, I was so focused on remembering my canary, I forgot to do the rest of my movements. So, so all it's it is just is... Marathi running and retreating. Yeah, it is plenty to get her out. And I knew that's what you were going to do. You needed to block that charge from my thralls. Absolutely, you did. Like that. Okay. And that's all she was doing. And then, that does take me into the charge phase. I mean, the only I don't really have any charges to do because you're still fighting first everywhere. Yeah, well, I mean, classically what you've done, and this I think this is a good tactic with Iden of Deepkin, is to just simply not engage me. Not engage on three. three. There's no point. You're fighting first. So there you um, go. Reducing so half of that weight, really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the end of my turn. I still hold all objective points. All right, well, let's move um, into Battle Shock and Counter, yeah. and then we'll end up with it. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Um, so into your battle shot, there's actually no battle um, shot to do. But you got, because three thralls died from the mortal wounds, didn't they? So you can roll 2d3 and try and get them back from the two soul renders. Uh, did you, you even remove those thralls? I don't think you did, did you? <laughs> Look at how you did. You didn't even remove the thralls. So I just removed the two thralls. It was three. I'll remove the three <laughs> I think you get 3d3 back though, so... Yeah, that's okay. So, um, 3d3. Uh, 2d3 rather. Sorry. 2d3 coming back from the soul renders. 
Yeah, they, two and they, three they, they three, they, so you know where they're going. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, I mean, I wonder actually how vile would it be to do that? I mean, you could do, but that actually takes the objective from you. <laughs> do it then. Do it. No, I'm not going to do that. Um, no, because no, no, you reminded me about it, so that's absolutely fine. I would have forgotten, so um, we'll do that. So um, let's keep friendly. Yeah. Just, uh, but that is, interestingly enough, yeah, that's a tactic, yeah, isn't it? Could have just out. daisy chained them in there. Yeah. And um, uh, sneak objectives away. That's actually not a bad idea, is it? Just kill your own dudes. <laughs> All right, let's leave the score as it is, though, which is 19 going against 8. So yep. you've got an 11 point lead, which is extremely significant. Maybe it is foolish me to give you the backseat on that one, but let's not worry about it for now. Um, taking two, uh, three, two points from there. Mm -hmm. um, you grab that I one that for, for two, one, one, one point because they're not battle line. And, and two points two over points here. There. So that's giving you the five, five points. points. That's where it comes from. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. I think it's into my um, hero phase then. Cool. And let's see if I can come back strong in what little remains of turn three. Yep. Okay, going into my hero phase, I've just corrected oh. the scorecard because that gives me two command points going into this turn. Yep. Um, I think it's worth mentioning if the difference is two points. So, as in if I'd have dropped models down there, the difference is yeah. two points. If we end I should, within, I should have kept them close. If we end within two points of each other, we'll just arm wrestle it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Should we <laughs> do that? Fair enough. That seems fair enough, and I know you'll beat me. So, <laughs> uh, right. Let's see if, for once, my um, ritual ritual can go. You get plus one to this, so you need a nine. Well, well I've got two, so that's not going to happen. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. Terrible dice roll. Um, so Cast right. Spell. Yeah, I think the so. D6 minus one to hit. Yeah, minus one to hit. So uh, that goes off on a six. Do you want to re-roll that? Um, well, you're going to go for the deny, aren't you? Do you get one re-roll? I could do you on minus one to it more than I could um, uh, Mystic Shield. Oh, so it goes off on a six. I stop it. I stop it on a 12. Okay, so then Mystic Shield goes off on an eight. Uh, I don't stop that one. Uh, Mystic Shield onto... Self. Rolls. Yeah. You could do for when the witches attack mark. Mystic shield onto the thralls. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to spend my two command points right now because um, um, yeah. Yeah, you can. And the reason I'm spending them now and not later it is about positioning. I want these thralls to inherit it. Um, the Eidolon of Maflan and the eel uh, wait, hold on a second actually. Voltornos, the eels and the thralls. Okay are going to get the extra attack. Yeah, we've got a roll for volcanic terrains as well. So I'm going to do this one. No, it doesn't go off. One over there. Yeah, this one. No. This one. No. This one. No. This one. <laughs> no. This one. No. Um, I've done that one. That's clear. Yeah, so that's it. Yes, that's clear. Yeah, yeah. You okay. Can. Okay, um, so, okay, no so that's volcanic. You're not. Oh, boats. Are you? No, you're not no, near the boat yeah. over there. Um, you know what? Yeah, that's fine. I did fluff up a little bit. I think the Eidolon of Maflan can only heal himself. That's correct with that yes. power, isn't it? Yeah. It's not another year. I was just thinking I could have done with healing no, the eel. Heal and heal. You can cast a spell to heal, I think, but you've done the Mystic Shield. If you want to change the Mystic Shield to the heal, that's fine. I don't mind that. He's taken three wounds, so um, yeah, you know what? Yeah, do Are you that. Okay with yeah, doing if you that? take the Mystic Shield off and then just do the D three heal. Okay, so D three heal on the heal. That's two, so it takes it to one wound. Thank yeah. you for that. That's all right. Um, a little bit. I keep finding bits of sprue, Jack. <laughs> That's been, been you've been clearer, cleaning yeah. off your sprues, haven't you? Nice right. Okay. Right. Um, I think at that we're into movement. Okay. Okay, so in my movement phase, the um, eel is going to this dude. You know what? He's just going to close up to three inches, okay? Yep. Uh, is he still enfeebled? Is that right? Yes. Yeah. What does that do to him again? Minus one to his wounds. 
Oh, what fantastic news to me that. Um, the uh, eel, uh, the, the thralls. I mean, obviously they've got to stay out of three inch. Takes me yeah. to there. And we've got a six inch one, which takes me to there. I mean, you know, the hope was with that Marathi play there was I knew she could get charged and survive and it would negate as many thralls as possible onto the witch elves. Yeah, yeah, and it doesn't help. They're on plus two attack, but plus two attack and all they can do is remove... Probably, yeah. You know, like three wounds off of Marathi yeah, is just, exactly. you know... Um, it, it, it's neither here nor there. If I get a tremendous charge, then hopefully I can get some models round to at least do some damage. But you need I'm fighting first. Charge. I do need a big charge, but you know, all you can do is try. Yeah. And it is turn three, so I can't afford to just sit on my haunches. Turn three. Okay, I'm going to run the soul renders. Yep. I need them up there five inches, so that gives that one a ten inch move. Oof! Ten inch move, so it takes him to there. Yep. I'm going to run the second soul render six inches, so that gives him a twelve inch move. I didn't really leave enough gap there for him, did I? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to come to there. Okay. Yeah. The Eidolon, he's got 12 inch move. Do you want to yeah. take him round the back to like charge into the hang? Oh, maybe? God, no, no, no. He's not going over there. Where's he going? He's going after your flappy ladies. Oh, well, Excuse me. Well, you got the eels to do that, though. Oh, the eels are coming over this way. Okay, right, fair enough. So I do need to move the Eidolon first because he's in the way. Yeah. Um, so he's just going to come to here. Three inches, okay. yeah. Okay, and then the eel on a 14 inch gets me to there. Let's just see what kind of charge I'm going to need to sneak in the side. That's a 7 inch charge. You get a I do get a reroll. Yeah, because I'm on low still alive. I'm going to keep that semicircle formation. Yep. That they're in. Like that. Hopefully, again, if they get a great, fantastic roll, they're round the back and it works. If not, it all goes terribly wrong. Yep. Now, this guy needs to get rid of those. Okay. And as we go into shooting phase, the Idol of Mathland ta uh, targets the uh, Furbus unit of Canare. Canare. D3 shots. Two, Two shots. shots hitting on threes, re rolling ones. Two hits, wounding uh, on. I wouldn't have had the reroll ones, but it's alright. Would have from Voltorb. Uh, he's, oh, he, he, he's not a Kellyan, but it doesn't matter. You're absolutely <coughs> right, he's not a Kellyan. Wounding on threes. Ah, oh, I double one there. And he's not a mount, so. He's not a mount, so Boom. no reroll for me there. Okay. And as Jack tries to convince me to shoot at his Witch Elves, it's not happening. <laughs> Instead, the Leviathan targets the snakes. The Blood Sisters. Thank you very much. Six attacks hitting on threes. Oh, so twos. many twos. Uh, winning on fours now because of the I'm Winning on fours because I am feeble. That's just one win. Uh, five of Palmer, five of Pignor. Go through. It takes the wound. Might count, might not. Who knows? Here we go into charges. Um, crikey. Thralls? <laughs> nope. Bolt on us. Okay. Yep. Voltorlos gets a seven. He's in. He's just going to go in between the two units there. Okay. Doesn't really matter. I think I've moved the, yeah, you've moved the, object. the objective with me right. as well. Um, Eidolon of Math. Oh, Voltorlos on a two up. Uh, which unit? Um, the Furbish unit. Okay. Makes no, uh, D3. It just stops you lengthening the charge. D3 mortal wounds. Three mortal wounds on that unit. Uh, they don't got any, so three of them go. Three of them go. Eidolon of Mathlan going for the charge. Um, and he goes in on a four. Yep. So pop. Next up, the Morsar Guard are going for their charge. It's a seven. Sim. It's not. It's not great, but it's him. Probably won't get all of them in. If I re-roll and fail, it's going to be funny. <laughs> nope. Take them in. Take them in. Okay. So they have to move directly it's not great. in a straight line, which means they're going to be going by 
coming back you can probably get to there if you want to avoid the scenery. Yeah, I maybe would have gone that side with that one, but I don't think it makes too much difference. I do have two inch range attack, so yeah. probably he could have got don't don't worry that about it. Leave it as it is. Probably get to there. Yeah, there. leave it as it is. That one to there. Okay. To there. And then the thralls going for their charge. And that's a seven <coughs> as well. I mean, it puts me there with pile, and I'll get a few attacks onto the but sisters. Not many. Not many. I can't re-roll anyway. Let me just check the fraud rule for the banner. Doesn't uh, give it's me plus one bravery. I think plus or one bravery or a re-rollable bravery. I can't quite remember, but no, it's um, nothing to do with. Yeah, re-roll battle shock. So I'm just going to have to use that seven. We'll just stop the filming there because it's going to take a while to position the. Yeah. Okay. So the last charge to do. None of it ideal there, but you know, get she dies, she rolls them. Uh, looking for a three. Bang. Um, yeah. Not like I'm going to yeah. do that. I'm going to do that. Yep. Less models onto me, but that's all I can do really. Yep. Okay. Charge is over. Let's get into combat. Yep. I shall activate everyone. Okay. I need to be careful how I activate here because you're going to deny me attacks as you remove casualties. Yep. It's going to happen. Um, but you know, do what we can. The safe bet over there is idle on first. That way, the only thing you can do is remove the unit to the left of, or to the right of um, Voltorn, or still giving Voltorn his tax. So, Idolin doesn't have the extra attacks. Uh -huh. um, it's Voltorn, the eels, and the thralls. The Idolon is getting three attacks with the side trident um, on threes to hit. And then threes to wound. That's two wounds at minus two ren, doing two damage. Well, they go through my armor, but on sixes you take mortal wounds back. No, and the two damage, so sixes to ignore. Four of them are dead, there's one left, but. Okay, so the DC Scepter, three attacks from that on threes. Um, and on uh, three to wound. Wounds at minus one ren, one damage. Six of armor. Um, I save and you take a mortal wound. Okay, so if you'd be so six kind as to, to tally that up. Six up to ignore from the board. No. And then I've got two D6 attacks coming from the... Shoal. Shoal. So that is only four attacks from the Shoal on fours. And um, fours to wound. Uh, two wounds, no rend, one damage. Two five ups. Um, I save one and you take a mortal wound again. No, I don't ignore it, so they do all die, but you take another mortal wound, so it's six up to ignore. Six up to ignore on the mortal wound. Oh, straight over the top. Oh, it was a six, but it's gone off the dice tray, and we know the rule. No, nope, I don't ignore it. Okay, well, we might as well do Voltornus while he's over there. He's only got a couple of guys to chop down, he's on seven yep. attacks. Seems a bit outlandish now, but what are you going to do? Um, hitting on threes, re-rolling the ones. Um, six of them going through on threes to wound with the Astrosolus. I've not even counted the minus five random. Yeah. I, well, I'm going to really remove two. Yeah. Um, okay, so Hi. that is um, four of minus one rend doing D3 damage. And they all go through. Four D3 is one, two, three, yeah. four. They all go. Okay. Mortal wounds back. Uh, no, didn't get any sixes. Okay. So I'll take that objective. That was the plan. Yep. Next up, the enfeebled Leviathan. Um, attacking with his crushing jaw. Uh, uh, don't get a... Don't get a... But um, actually, how many wounds have I taken? Two. two. So I do bite with the crushing jaw on a two. Yep. Two's to wound. No, but a re-roll ones. Uh, yes, so minus two rend. Go straight for my arm. So D6 damage, four damage. Five ups to ignore. Ignored all but one, so take a wound. Okay, four attacks with a massive, oh, that would have been threes to wound, by the way, of course, the minus one yes. that I rolled it yeah. anyway. So um, uh, four attacks with the Cyber Thins on threes, all going through, and on fours to wound now, yep. through Enfeeble. Uh, unfortunately, that's four going through, with a minus one rend. Six ups. Three damage. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be 12 damage. Oh, no, Jack. Um, stop three. 
three, so that's nine wings. Nine wings going through. Let's carry on with the spheres. Two attacks. Uh, misses. And then four attacks with the harpoons. Um, hitting on threes. Two going through. Wounding on fours with Enfeeble. One going through, no rend, one damage. Um, goes through and takes that one. Well, not enough to take the objective. Well, there wasn't any way because the character was at the back and there wasn't a lot I can do there. about that. I think there. I did fine there. Very good. One thing we haven't done with the eels was the mortal wound. Um, I, I just left it until we resolved this combat because this is tricky as hell. Because my charges were so poor, you've got a real chance to deny stuff on piling. Mm -hmm. So we thought we'd leave it until the camera was in situ, yeah. basically. So um, mortal wounds out of the uh, Morsar guard. I do one dice for each. This is the Biovoltaic Blast. Um, for every three up, it's one mortal wound. Six is D3. Oh my goodness. So that is 2D3 um, plus one. So 2D3 plus one mortal wounds. Uh, one, two, so that's three mortal wounds, four in total, four mortal wounds. Enough for you to do a difference if they don't go I through. Ignore with a reroll. One goes through and you don't take a mortal wound. So you can take three away now. No, I can take one away. I'm oh, one away. Sorry, sorry, I thought you, sorry, I thought one hadn't. Well, my apologies. <laughs> right, in which case, I just need to do some maths now on yep. which is best to activate and um, we'll go. For Okay, in the interest of fairness, I'll let Jack take care of the pile in here. It, I just, I prefer it that way, you know, I let somebody else judge it. And I did, I, I measured it out and it's like, you know, measuring which ones are within five inches, measuring which ones are within four inches. So you yeah, know, so you pre registered you know, before the move. Two of them are out of five inches, so there's no way they're going to get any of their attacks in. So what I can do with the spears, though, is 12 attacks. Um, yep. These are hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. No re-rolls. Uh, no, oh, I'm too far too away, far away, of course. So no re-rolls on this. No re-rolls on any of it. Um, but let's go for it. Let's see what we can do. Hitting on threes. Um, it's a damn good roll, Jack, I'm afraid. And then wounding on threes. Don't worry, I've li hopefully make up for it on the wound. Um, yeah, I did make up for it on the wound. That is five going through at so minus two red. Ten damage. Ten damage so far. Which are five of ignores. That was a good ignore roll, which I can re-roll. Uh, four go through, and you don't take any more wounds. Okay, next up are the bites. Again, only three attacks. Oh, did you say two attacks with the bites? Uh, yeah, if the one inch range, yep. Yeah. Two attacks with the bites, both hitting, wounding on threes. And, uh, oh, re rolling ones because yes. of. Uh, oh, just wand it again. That's one going through, no rend. Six of armor goes through. D3 damage. It's a three damage. Five up ignore, which I can re roll. And a five up to do a mortal wound. You do take a mortal wound. You'll okay. put one onto two wounds because. Uh, one of them was carrying was two the wounds. Musician. No, the the, he was carrying one wound. Uh, carrying one wound, him, thank yeah. you. Okay, next up is 3d3 uh, lashing tails. Yep. So, oh, nine yeah. lashing plus tails. Six, so 15 attacks. So, nine plus the six attacks because of the additional. So it was D3 plus two, wasn't it, basically? Yep. So 15 attacks with the tails on threes. Um, I was gonna do the re-rolls, but that's for wounds. Threes on wounds, re-rolling ones because of Futan. I've got a cop dice there. I'm gonna take the twos out before I roll it. Nope, that's good. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, at no rend doing one damage. So six of armor, no. followed by a five up to ignore. Re-rolling the five up to ignore, and then a five up to do a mortal wound back. No, so one more dice. Okay. Sword. Thrall. Right. Thrall. Right, we've piled the thralls in. I can get four thralls onto there, which doesn't sound too deadly, but four five thralls attacks. is actually five attacks each, so it's 20 attacks with the... Um, 
uh, with the uh, re- with the thralls. Whatever the Namatai Cutlass is called. It's, uh, yeah, the it's weapon, got a weird elven name. It's the Lamari it? Blade, isn't That's, it, I believe, yeah, is what Lamari it's called. Yeah. Like... So we've got, right, we've got threes to hit. No re-roll here no on any of those. So 20 attacks on threes. Um, that looks favourable to you, I'm going to say, That's because good. I'm seeing a lot of dice going out the tray. Yeah, that was And then uh, threes to wound. Um, not bad. Two, four, six, seven wounds at minus one rend. Okay, so five up to ignore, which I can re-roll, and Looks then good. five up to do more wounds back. I haven't got any of them, so three of them die. Three of them die. Yeah. Okay. That leaves, you know, with um. Just the Marafi to do that one attack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Well, yeah, eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so that is. So they give me four attacks each. Yes, but I am doing two so damage. Attacks. Yeah, two damage. We're just going to do 20 of the 41 attacks I've got. I have a suspicion this will take uh, double wounds. We'll see. Threes do um, um, Right. And then threes to wound. Yep. Okay, so we have got three, six, nine, ten, eleven wounds so far at minus one ren, two damage. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty confident. It's going to take three wounds off. Yeah, I mean, it's this twice on a five of ignore. Yeah, she takes three wounds. Okay. So she's taken three. Um, that's all your attacks done now, isn't it? It is indeed, and over to your so activations. So I will go with... Morathi first, because why not? She's taken nine wounds now. So she's only got three attacks with her. She falls like an avalanche. This yeah, year. I it's think she drops hard. off too quick. She drops off too much. Because she's got this weird mechanic where you, can, you can't heal her. And so you can't bring so her up. Exactly. Brackets, you so. can't just, because anything that's bracketed, sometimes you can just pop a wound back yeah, on and go up exactly. a bracket yeah. and be effective again. So for me, it feels like it's a straight line down and it should be yeah. a curve. You know, it yeah, should be, exactly. okay, by the time you're down to the last three, maybe, yeah, but, sure. you know, but, but along the way. Yeah, three know. attacks with Heart Render, hitting on threes, three Minus one no to more. Oh, Wounding on a three, that is four damage from that okay. um, you can't there's no save well, okay, it's minus fine. three yeah. runs so yeah, four cool. of them gone from that okay so i'm going to start removing the serpents threes to hit re-rolling that six turns into an extra hit threes to wound re-rolling that is four saves at minus one okay so four uh six, six of saves yeah. um yeah who did I give Mystic Shield to? Uh, I think it was. No, you swapped Mystic I swapped Shield in. Doesn't matter. I didn't think it was the unit anyway. No, all four going through. Damage. Oh, that's eight damage from that one. That's eight more dead. Um, and then the tail hits and wounds. So that's going to be D3 plus one. So that's three more damage. <laughs> she can still hit. I, I, you know what? I Maybe she doesn't drop off. Too the mind, much. the mind raises helped there, because yeah. that's made the serpent. We were remembering the damage. minus one to hit. Yeah, she's not minus one to hit. I stopped that spell. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, I thought I got that off. No, that was last turn. Then you've had a turn now, and I stopped. Yeah, that. I rolled it badly, didn't yeah, I? I rolled, you rolled a, a six. Seven. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Rolled yeah a six I rolled and you a re-rolled six. it into a six, and I rolled a double six. Uh, sorry, what was that then? No, that was three more gone. Three more gone. No save on that no, at all. No. Tail. Okay, that's not good news. So I do not have a command point, so I fear the unit is gone. Okay. Yeah, um, I've got the witches. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, you know what? I'll go with the hag first. So she'll pile in round there just to make room. So sure. four attacks with the hag on threes and fours. Wow. That is three saves at minus one on the heels. Three, um, five up saves? Yep. 
Uh, one going through. One going through, which will take him up to three wounds. I mean, I, we were just saying off camera, I needed bigger charges. Yeah. If I'd have got more models in, you'd have been in real trouble. Yeah. But I just didn't get um, the charges. So these girls, they're going to be hitting on threes. This is all in the heels. Woo! With a re-roll to hit. You're so powerful in turn three as well, aren't yep. you, really? I love fighting daughters, though. It's proper bloodbath. Just the munch machine. There's hardly any of them left, and they're probably going to remove my army. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know like that's four what's amazing. Each. Just... You know. But, um, so this is the reroll to hit. You'll be happy to know, though, I didn't put Witch Brew on this unit, so they <laughs> don't have the reroll wounds. So this is just forced to wound. Three, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 saves. 16 no saves. Rent. 16 4-up saves. That is 1, 2, 3 wounds. Okay. That's wow. pretty good. That's amazing. I am very fortunate. So that. Get that one and put two wounds on another. Yeah. Very fortunate rolling there, I'm going to admit that. Snakey Snake is hitting back yep. at me. Um, the Gore guy hits on twos, re-rolling, and the other ones hit on threes, re-rolling, oh. and wound on, there was a six in there, so that's an extra hit, and wound on threes, re-rolling. So that is two, four, six, eight saves at um, minus one rent, so eight four ups. Eight four up saves, no benefit from the void drum. And that's one, two, three, four going through. Okay, um, damage. Uh, just one. Okay, and takes then, it to six wounds. Yep, the touches, um, the hag hits on a three, and the rest hit on fours. That was a hit, but those two miss. Reroll, so that's two more wounds on him. Taking him to eight wounds in total. Cool. I don't have a counter, but okay. if you can get me one, that would be brilliant. Okay, well, I had a little bit of a plan, but it's failed. The plan was to summon enough thralls back to get back, in to range get back of into range of the plus three inch. Um, plus three bravery. Plus three bravery, and yes. then do the battle shock test. Which I think would have kept some thralls on the table, but unfortunately, the replenishing of the unit is done at the end of the turn. So when we look back on it, probably should have kept the command point. Yeah, you know, but, probably, but you know, I was basing it on if I'd have got a nine inch charge, I don't yeah. think you'd have had, if I'd have got nine inch charge on both of those units. Exactly, the witches wouldn't I, have You them. wouldn't have witches, yeah. you know. Um, but it was Marathi, Admittedly, Marathi still would have done that it, damage. It's the, my, it's the mind less, raiser you know. when she gets it again, it's because that turns her serpents into one damage to two damage, and she has five attacks and, and two damage. And this is the thing is, I remember Marathi on three wounds being pretty much negligible. You can but bordering on ignoring raiser. her, but the mind Mind Rage has pushed her over the Tips edge. Her yeah. Over, yeah. I hope to bear that in mind in future games, that if she's wandering around on three yeah. wounds with Mind Razor. She's still good, because the snakes are still good. Okay, so um, that unit's gone. I mean, I can roll the Battle Shock test. It makes no odds. I get a two, um, plus but it's 15. two plus 15, um, so and I'm Bravery six. six. So they're gone. Yeah. <laughs> I've still yeah. got two models on the objective to your yeah, one you model. Still hold the so I objective, sneak the points. But you don't get it with a battle line unit, and that's the main we thing. We have moved this objective, but I hold this objective as yes. well. And I lose the battle line. And I think that that's pretty much the game for me. That I did really well on. Yeah. But I hoped to get the extra one point. But yeah. Um, so losing the point there, losing the point there. As in the extra point there. Yeah. It's just, I think, tipped me over the edge into a loss. I mean, we'll have to see where it goes, but I, I don't think I can catch up now. And Let me just you get a double, because I think a double here could be so quite I, I take three points. I take three points, and yet, as you said, let's go into the roll up yeah. and we'll decide how the game plays out. Yeah. Okay, at 11 points to 19, roll off for turn four. 
Oh, oh, I got one. Six. You get it. Gives me a fighting chance, maybe. Yeah. I'm eight points behind. I don't know. Let's play we'll out see. simple. We'll see. Before we go anywhere, primary is uh, where primary. the primary objective is. It's in the middle again. Which is good. Because I think you've still got that. Yeah, but you know, not with battle line. You don't. Oh, you, well, you could have. Well, I battle, could just right? retreat, couldn't I? I suppose. Yeah. Um. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can hear the sadness in my voice. Yeah. Okay then. Um, I really needed it. I think possibly over there. Yeah. All right. It is what it is. Let's get into my hero. Okay, so here we go into the hero phase. Um, I, uh, let's just see if I can get the prayer off. Yes. No plus one on this and no ten. Um, let's go for magic. Um, we're going to go for the minus one to hit, if I can hit Marathi with yep. that. I think it's 18 inch. It looks like I'm in range. Should we check? Yeah, we're good. And <laughs> double wand it. Nice. Think I better use my reroll. Yeah. I was hoping to use the heal, and I re-rolled it to a four. Okay. Um, Mystic, no, Arcane Bolt. Yeah. Yeah. You never know. On yeah, a nine, yeah. it goes off. I stop on an 11. <sighs> I think we know how this turn is going. <laughs> okay, let's get in. Here we go then, into movement. I can run and charge throughout this entire turn, so let's just get that going. Um, the idling of my plan doing a run. Gets a three, giving 15. him a 15 inch chart move. Where do you want him to go? Uh, I think I'm going to go. I might as well just go for. He's got a three up save. He's got a three up save. Um, do you want to retreat them out? You first? know what? So, yeah. Are you alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll no, retreat them fine. first. We'll use the three on those guys. No, it's alright. No, roll it for them. That's okay. fine. It's fine. I'm getting out of order. Five on those guys. Gives so me the repeat. We had discussed this on camera and yes. then uh, off camera, and then I just forgot what I was doing. It doesn't really matter. They're really only there to just grab that objective and score the extra point because they're battle line. That's yeah. all they're there to do. This is a 15 inch move. So he's going to go over there and glare at those witch elves three inches yep. away. Uh, Voltornos. <laughs> oh, uh, 15. 15 inches. I'm going to use a command point. point. Yeah. I've only got one command it's point. A 20. Gives him a 20 inch move, but Marafi needs to die. Yes, this I'm just going to double check that I can be an inch closer, so I'm at three inches there. I mean, what, them two, do you want to just... I, I think so, I don't think there's, there's nothing the much I can do with those, basically. And I think that stays in combat. Yeah. And we go into shooting. I'm going to go for a couple of long shots here. If I can take Marathi out with the Abyssal Blast, <laughs> and if I can shoot off six wounds with six shots... And even if you could just do some damage to her and then impale her on your horn, on the chart, yeah, and you never know. So D three from the abyssal blast. Yeah, abyssal fish. blast. Abyssal blast. It's three. Okay. You re-roll in ones to hit. Three's to hit. Re-roll in ones. There's a two though, so we're down to four. potential of four damage. Three's to wound. Two wounds. Minus two, yeah. So yep. six apart. Oh. Did you take a six? And I take two wounds left, so I too only have one wound left. So Which, you never know. On a two up, you'll do with the horn. Two up, hope maybe. Might just be able to get her. Um, okay, on to these long shot salute. Next up, we have the six shots from the uh, harpoons into yep. the snakes, hitting on threes. Re rolling ones. Re rolling ones. This is a super long shot. I haven't done enough already, I know it, because uh, there's, a t there's two twos in yeah. there. Um, so, okay, four hits, three to wound, uh, wounding on fours, of course. Yeah. So there's almost no hope in this. Uh, three wounds, Well, I've been no killed rent. out of my five ignore, so it's only a six of ignore re-roll. Um, they don't have the re-roll. So one and a half one dead. And a half. <laughs> there's no way I can even pile in and get anywhere near that witch elf no. out there, which is what I needed to kill. So at that we enter the charge phase. There's only a couple of things to do. The uh, Eidolon of Mathlan. Um Right, here we go. It's a four. It's enough. I was thinking, do I try and go for the Witch Elf? Does the Witch Elf give them anything in combat? 
Uh, no. It's all down no, anyway, no, so, no, you know, yeah. uh, you can't keep her out, but yeah, I, there's not a lot I can do. Do that. Okay. Makes a few less on the... the uh, in fact, actually, leave room for Voltornos' base. Yep. Because he might just be coming at you. Death from above as he rolls an eight. Um, there. Either that or I come round here and just keep him well away from the witch elves. What if you don't want him to attack the witch elves? You know what? No, put him in. Because... Yeah. On a two. I'll put him just there for now, but yeah. Okay, so on so a two. two plus. Yes. D3. D3 mortal wounds. Two mortal wounds. Nah, she's gone. She's gone. She's gone. She gets some pails. So Voltornos is up on, for the for the record, yeah, Voltornos yeah, yeah. is up on these rocks, having impaled Marathi with his deep horn mare. Careful. And, right, I think we're into combat activation at that. Yes. As I activate Voltornos after his... Oh, can you imagine how that looks? Maraf is writhing around, having butchered 20 thralls. And this unicorn, <laughs> this water <laughs> unicorn, just slams um, into her. She's just like, straight for her Well, heart. actually, the abyssal blast as well. So she yeah. takes the abyssal blast and she's like, ow! And then a unicorn yeah. horn just slams into her and goes, no, you're dead, dude. <laughs> um, right, five attacks from the Astrosolus. Of course, what I'm really looking for here is the hit rolls of sixes. Yes. I could do with absolutely... Well, I'm on minus one rend anyway. Right, so it does matter. None of it but matters. <laughs> it does matter, Jack. It does. Threes. Rerolling ones. Um, two minus... Three minus five rends. You can there. roll them all together, though. <laughs> <laughs> no. I've, only, I've only got the keys. So <laughs> so okay, then. So threes to wound. Uh, four wounds at minus one so rend doing D3 three. damage. Four D3 damage. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. That is a good D3 roll. Uh, five up to ignore, which I can, of course, I'll make half of them, which I can re roll. Um, so four die and. <gasps> You take three mortal wounds. Okay. Uh, there's two more, two wounds on that, do you? Yes. So it failed to carry across. Three attacks from the fang jaws and talons. Hitting on threes, re-rolling ones. Because of Voltornus' in, inbuilt ability. And wounding on threes, re-rolling ones because of Futan. That's two wounds at minus one ren, doing one damage. So two five up to ignores, which I can re-roll. Ignored them. Okay, and then three attacks coming from the lashing tail on threes. That's two going through, wounding on threes, re-rolling ones, don't need it. Two more, no rend, two damage. Bikinis, make one. Uh, five of Pignon, re-rollable. So one saved, and you take another mortal wound. Ah. They've just been throwing themselves at you. It's just too hard to kill them when yep. they've got five up, five up, five up. Yep. That's, That's so horrendous. That so needs FAQ. <laughs> no. This whole book with no. just the, not the holy within and all no. that. Like, you just don't have it. It's fine. It's not fine, it's Jack. Fine. It's torturous. Your activation. You want to go um. with the daughters? You better go with a snake. Come on. You can bracket me down. It, you can bracket me down, though. Yeah, okay. We'll go it's with up the to you. It's, we'll oh, well, actually, it's a good point because, of course, I do have the. I forgot, to be honest, I had the idol on there, yeah, so are you we'll sure? Go, we'll go with the snakes. Okay. This. Okay, the snakes attempting to bracket my the Leviathan. Gore guy, re-rolling ones. Um, that's six hits from her because <laughs> of the sixes. And the other one, um, oh re-rolling. <laughs> that's three hits from the other one. Yeah, yeah, that's and then good. this is threes to wounds, re-rolling. Nine hits, re -rolling. Out of that um, Yeah, that, that's nine wounds. At minus one. Nine. <laughs> Nine four up saves. Yeah. <laughs> if I kill it. Here. Shut up. <laughs> three going through. You uh, do indeed bracket me up a bit. You whoa. take me to. Uh, three um, going through takes me to 11 wounds. Have you got more to do? The gore guys touch hits and the other ones touch us three mortal wounds because of the catechism. So three more <laughs> it takes me to 14 wounds. No, it's not enough. It's not enough, but you well, know. It takes you to ride down to your last bracket, you never know. Yeah, I am indeed on my last bracket, doing nothing against that unit. Yep. Okay. The idle arm squares up with three attacks on threes. Yep. Doesn't get the reroll ones. 
Oh, it does because it's turn four. Oh, it's turn yes. four though. Good point. Didn't Flip need tight. it though. Typical. <laughs> and then threes to wound. Wow, that is three wounds at minus two Ren doing two damage. So six damage, which I have a five up to ignore. Here we I, go. Which I can Oh, re come on. <laughs> you are so good. Can take more wounds wound on a five up? No. So just wounds. one wound oh, there, yeah? Yes. My God. Three attacks coming from the scepter on threes. Wounding on threes. Uh, two, oh no, I don't get the reroll one. Two wounds at minus one Ren doing one damage. Uh, so five up ignores, reroll the ball, and a five up to do a mortal wound back. Nope, so I take another one. And then we have 2d6 attacks from the Storm, Storm Shoal. Shoal. It's a 10. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> get eaten by little Ten fish. attacks on fours though, re-rolling yeah. ones. Um, no ones at all, but twos and threes in there. And then on fours to wound, no re-roll. Oh, I still this. think you should get the re-roll. I know, they're not a mount though. So four, that's four, no rend, one damage. Um, five, five, five. Five up. Oh wait, no rend. No rend. So six of Palmer, then the five of Pignor. Oh, I'm good. Um, God, I hate that unit. <laughs> they will attack back. Yeah. So, one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six onto Voltorn. So, six onto Voltornos. Um, King on threes, but I still get the army wide reroll for being Hagnar. And turn three. Which, you know, you can't, can't complain. Can't complain. Um, so the reroll. Um, I still missed four of them. And then this is going to be forced to win rerolling ones now because it's turn four. Get to reroll those ones. That oof. That is a uh, that is quite an oof wound roll there. Not really, Jack. No, I mean oof for you. <laughs> uh, so one more miss. That is going to be 5, 10, 14 saves of no rent, so 14 three ups. <laughs> he has, for the record, four wounds remaining. 14 three ups. Oh my god, he's gone. He's gone, oh, gone, he gone, gone. He's yeah, gone, yeah. gone, gone. He's not even, he didn't hang right. around at all. Okay. He exploded. Um, <laughs> There's sushi everywhere. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> uh, the uh, five into the big guy then. <laughs> uh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, balance. <laughs> Woo! Which elves are underpowered. <laughs> I wonder why we Worst get so many disliked witch <laughs> games. And false to wounds. Um, no, I'm going to re rolling the ones. There's only one one in there, though. Whoa, that one actually wasn't a good ring. Completely underpowered, aren't they? Um, <laughs> seven saves on him. Seven saves. He's taken two wounds. He's got. You can't Three kill him. Save. You can't kill yeah, him. No. Three up save. Um, he takes two wounds. Oh, it's up to four. <laughs> wow. Um, I mean, it, it's not activation order, but I do have the hag, so I'll just attack with her. Oh, yeah, you might Three as well. Three to hit, rerolling. Just gonna whilst the camera's the here. Falls to wound, rerolling. One, one save at minus one. So one one save up. at minus one. Um, a one four up, yeah. Sorry. Uh, good. Okay, cool. Okay. The Leviathan. Ugh, do I pile in? I'm closer to that unit there, so I'm just going to do. Wee. I'm going to do a three inch slide like that, yeah? Is that okay? Cha cha, we also mean. Cha cha. Yeah. He's not in a good state, is he? He's enfeebled still. Yep. Um, here we go then. The bite attack. Going to get a six. You know I am. I know it. Oh, I didn't. Did you hit that? Um, you do I do hit on a four, yeah. So two's to wound. Don't give me a one. Minus two Ren, D6 damage. Go straight through, so D6. Three. Uh, non-saved, so that gets them. Oh, okay. There you go. 
If only, if only the Saibin Talons had a five inch range. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's only got, I think, two wounds left on the Maya Dom. Wow. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> At Battleshock, um... I've got roll for my witches. Yeah, no command points left. Two plus six is eight, so one of them runs. <laughs> That's it, wait. So hard to kill. No, she um, doesn't run, because they are bravery eight, because of how many models they have. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's fine then, isn't it? Um, yeah. It's a shame I'm not a negative bravery modifier out of that thing as well. That would be cool. Um, okay, I score uh, four points that turn. I take yes. two for over here, hence the retreat of the battle line. Um, I still hold this center objective, which is two points, giving me the four points. Puts me, it sounds better than it actually is. It puts me four points behind, but you've still got turn four I to play. Turn you to have to do yeah. nothing at all. Yes. To take another four points. But let's play it out. Yep. Let's play that out and then I think we know where we're yes. at. Yes. Going into your hero phase. Um, so, I mean, I don't think it matters that much, but Witch Brew and I'll go for Blessing onto them. And Feeblement okay, goes? Then. Yes. Yep. Then I'm going to try and do the Touch of Cain onto that um, thing. I get it. Which hands the dice in. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> you take D3 more always. I can't remember if you have to guess which hand the dice is in. Look, or which in hand the, the dice is in. I remember in the tournament you celebrated the wrong thing, I think. So I'm going to go with you're making that hand look bigger on purpose. <laughs> that so that's got the dice in. Is that I don't know. Hand? I'm going to check now. <laughs> so you do take D3 more always. One. Okay. That was, that was worth it. She's going to empower her blade. <laughs> She's going turtle slaying. Um, yeah, why not? Why not? Bring it, by the way. Bring yeah, it, because yeah, that, that turtle is going to chow down on oh, her. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course. Proper just... Um, um, yeah. Well, that's everything in my hero face. Now it's on to me. Here we go into movement. Retreat. Charging? No. <laughs> Retreating out. Retreating and scoring three um, points. The hag also retreating. Yeah, no, yeah, we know where this is happening. Enough. Okay. Um, the chariot moves six. Yep. Yeah, I think we've still got. Actually, you know what? And I don't think we did it in my turn either. We did not do terrain. But you know what? We're on the end of turn four. Let's call it. Um, I'm just going to go straight into charges. The choo choo. Chattanooga. Choo choo's right in there, and do I just run you over? Choo choo. D three mortal wounds. You take three mortal wounds. Turn you the choo -choo. Oh, right. He just runs it straight <laughs> over. Oh, that's like the priestess was like empowering her blade and everything, and she just sees the the snake just go. Oh well. Okay, that, your turn. Yeah, that's my turn. Thanks. I get. Okay, so going into your battle shock, you take four points in that turn, yes. securing three over there, one over there. Um, it gives you, uh, I lead. think, an eight-point lead, which, which is physically yeah. Hard. I mean, they could come over here, potentially take that on the charge with all of the ren they can yeah. do. Yeah, well, I mean, it might have moved over there anyway. Well, and it might but move over there, it does, but it might move over there. Yeah. In which case, in fact, you know what? Let's just see where it would have gone. Just do it towards it out, so it stays in the middle. Even if I'd have captured that one, I score one, two, two three, three, four. four. Uh, leaving me on a four point disadvantage. So. so maximum I can get is five in this turn. Yeah. Mate, that was a great game. Thus proving oh, daughters no, are the best that. elves. They are the best elves. For now, for now though, there might be some oh, new mate. kids on the block. Yeah, you're right. I'm but... gonna get some more eels done. <laughs> 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 I was wondering if you did the Luminous, but um, seeing as though they're both my armies, I think I should get to choose which one's better. Which is the new girl on the boat. I, yeah. I, you know, yeah. I like the Luminous, but I think Daughters will always have that bit in my heart. Let's go into the debrief. Yep. <laughs> So at uh, that, yeah, I mean, uh, forgive us, by the way, this was very much a casual game for us. We kind of- Casual the, slash competitive. No, well. no, yeah, we but took I mean, competitive I mean list, the, yeah, we've allowed was, faxes, we've kind of been doing things- It was more of a game, you know. it wasn't really a battle report, it was more just a game that we filmed. We just thought we'd film it, because it was a game, we were kind of 
having one last game before Jack goes off to yeah, university. Yeah, it's, it's one of those. Daughters are my army. It is the army that I'm most familiar with. It is the army that I love to play. It's frustrating. They're not terribly popular. They've and they're got, not popular. There's a lot of, so I tried, there's a lot of rage. I try to them. avoid them as much as possible for bat reps because I know some people don't. Some people do like it. And for those of you out there, thank you very much because it does make me smile when I post the daughters of Cain bat rep. Instead of going, oh, I'm going to Cain and Roman Power. Somebody's like, oh, nice daughters. And I'm I like, think the oh. thing. The yeah. thing is, from my side of the table, I don't face a daughter's list and go, there's nothing I can do. Yeah. I think there's choices I made here that I could have made better, maybe. Same I think my first turn, there's the some frauls. questions. Save the command point for the frauls. It would have been a very different game. Yes. Um, yeah, they're in no way on You know, the... edging on two large charge rolls. I, I got re-roll, yeah. you see, on the eels, and I was thinking two charges, one of them with re-roll. I, I'm feeling through. good. Yeah. I should have sat on a command point at the very least to be able to re-roll one of the charges as well. You, you know, I could have had a choice then, but um, uh, it yeah. doesn't really matter. I, I think the point is, is I don't face your daughters and think this is an impossible task. There are ways of dealing with them, which I don't think I leveraged very well. I didn't get to your witches early, mm. but it was difficult. It was difficult to get to your witches, it um, always is. Yeah, and I mean, the, the, the Daughters of Cain are the oldest battle tone now. And I think and that's... they feel it. And that's possibly what gives players the frustration about them. The fact that you they, go, no, the unit's seven, within seven, seven inch. Seven. You've got one model there tagged yeah, at seven yeah, inch, yeah, and seven. the other unit's right over there. Yeah. And I'm having to carefully keep holy within to kind of treat yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. It, you know, saying and maybe that, hopefully with the new Marathi book that's coming out, maybe it'll change some of stuff. Of course, they've announced the new because Marathi book. Knows? Yeah, but yeah, who knows? So. It could just be missions. I hope it's something. Yeah, well, they're, are they the oldest battle tone? They are the oldest so battle tone now. One would only hope it that. It goes it's these probably, guys, then Eidnath. I mean, whilst we know that obviously Luminef are out now, we've got Sons of Behemoth around the corner, they've also got to turn yes. their attention to the existing range. Yeah. So let's hope we see a Daughters of Cain. Something for Maggot King of Nurgle, something for Eidnath Deep Kin, something for Daughters of Cain, because they're the only three AOS year one books that are still around. Everything yeah. else is year two or later. So. That is true. That is true. I mean, well, they've still got the nice little old hammer up there. Oh, I mean, you, can't, you can't see them on camera. It just don't yeah. match. It's got the old hammer. Um, but yeah, you know, I still love them. They're my favourite army, favourite aesthetic. I love the snakes. I love the canary. Marathi's just awesome when she works. Sad when she doesn't, but you know. That's what it is, I had it? a good game. I really enjoyed it. And for the last game, I've had a winning streak against you because you've been experimenting with lists. Yeah. It's nice for you yeah, to bring your A game. And exactly, this is the thing. I've been taking lists and armies that I've never taken before, so I don't know the list. I don't know the armies. I don't know what's good at what. I kind of, you know, with this army, I know, you know, approximately how much damage each unit's going to do. Yeah. And it's like with the last game we did, it's like throwing the bugs into the Kona Hunters. I was expecting them to do more, and it's kind of. They just didn't. Now that I've played them, I kind of know how much damage that unit's going to do. Because you can do, do the so... map hammer, but sometimes you need to see it exactly, on the table, don't yeah. you? And I think that's the thing is one of the things we learned from Luke when we were talking to him about tournament prep. And we're not massive tournaments. Yeah. It's not like we go to loads of tournaments, but we, we try and play competitively. And one of the things is, is practice, 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 because that's how you learn your army, really. And I think, you know, on a scale of comfort with the army, um, Fire Slayers for me, yeah. up at the top, I can kind of almost play those blindfolded, unless I'm messing around with units yeah. I hardly ever use. Um, Silver Neff, I think I'm getting got that there. Now, yeah. Silver yeah. Neff, uh, and I'm understanding the army. This. I still need to bend my head around. I think I can be more effective in turn two going into turn three. Yeah. Um, I think I did a better job in this turn two um, than I've done in a long time in the yes. in the previous Iden of Deep King games. Um, so I think I'm getting there. But you know, the, I, I'd like to say you brought your A game against my C game. I think uh, oh, my, yeah. my oh, D yeah. game being my Seraphon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Saying that, I think the Iden have had to be. Let's beaten. face it, though, you would have utterly butchered Silver Death. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> no. The idea of at least punched really hard this in turn is the three. Thing. Daughters of Cain are, I'm in no mind that Daughters of Cain are a powerful army. They're not the most powerful, but they are powerful. There is no denying it. When played well, I think that, you know, actually, I think they're a hard army to play because of how 
fragile they are. Yeah, they, I, as, they, as you, saw, you saw parts of your army dissolve. Yeah, they're not forgiving. And it's, and it's and through it's... movement shenanigans and just the super blender unit yeah. that you came through on this game. Yeah. And early scoring. Yeah. You, you can never underestimate early scoring. And I think one of the challenges with Iron Earth is Getting those to maintain points. early scores without over committing too many yes. units. And you can see why Luke pushes MSU. Because yeah, you can push yeah, those yeah. units so out and out. still have plenty have of other stuff to choose yeah, from. Yeah. Um, and maybe I need to start dividing my Morsar into two units, but it's, you know, because I'm... I, well, if you think about it, I'm spending so much energy trying to protect three combat effective in-range units for turn three. Yeah. For um, uh, for the uh, Voltornos to Im put the impact on. When really, if you go the kind of multiple unit, um, well, okay, I lost the unit. It's not the end of the world because there's another one over yeah, here. Yeah, because I've got a bunch more left. Yeah. You know, the other thing is, is maybe chipping a few points off and just taking a command point into the game. Yeah, I yeah. think would be could help. Okay, well, thanks for indulging us on this um, rather it's been chaotic, a bit but... game and a bit different. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and again, thank you for all your support. And we'll no doubt see you again soon. I just soon. want to thank Jack for everything he's done. Um, during lockdown. You've been an absolute star. You've been brilliant company for starters. <laughs> um, you've been a fantastic gaming companion. I, uh, I've been incredibly fortunate to have all of this and that you've also done an incredible amount of work for the channel with all the editing. So thank you, buddy. No worries. No worries. See you again next time. See ya.